Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see if this thing's gonna kick on. Come on, there it is. Welcome back. It is Friday night, and it's time for some more live streaming. Uh, we are playing Humankind tonight. Um, I disagree with the uh, the response to the poll. I was on the opposite side of the majority tonight. Um, it wasn't a poll about what to play directly. Although I need to definitely adjust... Uh, where's the... Mm, mm, where's the sounds? Content? Where, where's the audio? Oh, down here in the gear, probably. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, the music volume. She's through the roof, don't you know? That's better. Alright, mute in the background? No. Better. Better? Hey, look at that. Alright. Uh, I put up a question on uh, on YouTube saying which game is better. Hey, new guy. Welcome. Uh, which game is better? Old World or Humankind? And everybody... 72 votes when I looked at it last 72 votes it said 72 percent of 72 votes had said humankind was the better of the two games I don't know I don't know if I agree you know how much of a fan of that old world but uh yeah big response so for my channel anyways so how's everybody doing tonight it's Friday time for some chill and game We're gonna be starting a new game. Let's do that. This dude looks like a slightly older version of me, so let's do that. We're gonna go with, um, I don't know. Let's go down to a large size with the normal pace, difficulty, na nation, sounds good. Let's go to like seven competitors. Uh, no, no, didn't mean to do that. Um, and let's look at our custom, no, not our custom map, our, our world setting here. Do, 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 do. Seven, uh, three continents. Mm, three continents and a new world? 
There's probably should be two or three people eat per continent, something around there. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> Looks very slightly older. <laughs> maybe, big maybe, my, wiser. Ah, okay. Well, humankind is uh, is a about a year and a half old now since its uh, Steam release. Um, and I played a number of uh, series on the channel back then. So we're looking at the uh, character or the world creation. You get the various different sizing, and then you can adjust the shape for very in various different ways. The percentages of of water to land. And so on. The new world option is uh, enables the presence of a distant continent, devoid of any empires at the start of the game. Not available when one continent or Pangea uh, world option is selected. Um, islands, hemispheres, various different things, the spread of the continents and the number of lakes and all that jazz. And uh, we'll leave uh, the rest of this as is, I think. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, the amounts of the goods, fine. Distribution, natural, sure. It means there may be some that are clustered and available from certain areas, and others that are only available, uh, that are widely dispersed. Alright. Let's give it a start, see if we get even a remotely decent start. I'll, uh, I'll spin the reroll button happily at the beginning of a game like this. Um, if, uh, if we look, if it looks like it's a really trashy, uh, start, but... Only in the first, like, basically only in the early Neolithic era. So there are six er well, technically seven arrows. You start in the Neolithic era, and instead of a uh, Civ style, hey, Pixie! Our universe contains infinite Wicked stories. Wicked vids! Thanks. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather <laughs> boring. Thanks, Pixie! However, on a small damp rock, Appreciate that. there is a story that bears a second it's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together, and things start to get interesting. And a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. <laughs> I love the response. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Another day, another dawn of humankind. It is time to finish breakfast, give a rousing speech, and leap into the future. All right. Uh, funky narrator aside, I'm going to uh, try to get, make the progress on this one go reasonably quickly. Uh, I don't want to linger too much in uh, descriptors. But uh, here's, our, here's our world. We can zoom smoothly in and out and see the giant beasts on the map. Uh, this is actually the edge of the map. So it's uh, we're, we're northern. But it's a rollover map. Like, it's a east-west, it keeps rolling, so... Um, and basically, we have a character here who is a, a tribe, our hunting party. This is our basic tribe unit we start with. And uh, we have a purple turtle as our, uh, as our symbol, because I was able to put a turtle. I could have made it purple, but the turtle is purple, and if you don't believe it, then you clearly don't have enough faith. Uh, nice. We got a nice river. That's going to be a nice production for a food spot. We do have to get... Um, our tribe growing. So the goal here is to achieve one of these initial stars in the Neolithic era. So there are four or three stars, knowledge star, growth star, and hunting star. So if we kill five animals, uh, or we gain 10 knowledge points, 
or we have a total population of five, uh, any one of those will unlock a star, which will allow us to move on to the next era. And right now we are a nomadic tribe up here, and then there are six eras to go forward. So um, in the next era, we'll be at the end of this, we'll be able to choose from one of these cultures. So the Assyrians, Babylonians, Egyptians, Harappan, uh, Hittite, Mycenaean, Nubians, Olmecs, Phoenicians, and the Zhao. And of those 10, each, each um, thing can only be locked by one uh, player at a time. One of the uh, characters, us or the AI. I think we set seven competitors, so there will be eight of the 10 that will be chosen in each era. And uh, what happens is first come, first serve. So whoever gets the first star gets to choose. However, sticking around for other things have, may have their advantages. Uh, so you don't always want to press through to the next era immediately. So these, uh, there's these spots on the map that are of interest to us. This is a food gaining one. If you look at our character on the right hand side, we got information about how many moves it's got, different abilities it can do, and then it's uh, food supply. So this is unit creation. The primary purpose for these tribes is exploration and growth. And at this, play, this point, we're just the nomadic people. We just run around. We have no towns, no cities or anything. And we got to go collect food um, and various different other things. And if we go to one of these tiles... Delicious. Though next time, it might be better if you washed it first. We get uh, pop-ups for some food. So that was a pretty... That was the lowest one we could get from that. That was a, a whopping, uh, whopping five food that we got from that one. We'll head over towards this uh, creature over here. This is a peaceful... Ooh, that's beautiful. There's a copper deposit. It's the one of the few resources we know is about early on. Um, so finished his moves, and that's it for the the turn. And then we continue. Dribbles time lapse. Hey, got home from driving lesson at a perfect time. Hey, well done, well done. Achievement unlocked, Dribs. <laughs> Uh, so uh, the terrain you can see very distinctly has different elevations and whatnot, and that's going to play in pretty strongly in our um, in our combat scenarios. For now, uh, the terrain stepping up into a river or stepping onto a river. Any ooh, look at that! That tie. That's this is a territory. See the dotted lines. The white dotted lines indicate territories. The map is divvied up into territories. They play a big factor in uh, uh, in cities and, and national development as we see go forward. But when you step on a river, it finishes your moves at this stage of the game. So be thoughtful when you're doing that. Uh, we can go over to this sanctuary here. Uh, that's another resource up here. This one is a luxury resource uh, called Sage. So the effects of that, uh, for stability per Sage on all cities. So it'll increase the stability of any city that we have if we have that in our network of trade. Um, and three food per sage on main plaza. This is if it's in our... Um, if we have a, a city that use, utilizes that. And then we also get administrative centers get food. So the center of a ter territory is an administrative center. And the center of a linked a set of territories that make up a city is, uh, is also does the same thing. So we're going to actually do something here. We're going to ransack this sanctuary. This will regularly, this spot will regularly spawn the sanctuary, whatever it is here. Uh, can I see that directly? There you go. A rich, diverse habitat with plenty of, of uh, with plenty to, to sack. This is breeding grounds of peaceful wildlife who range the surrounding areas. So we'll end up knocking out those wildlife if we sack this, but we also get a bit of, uh, no of food and a knowledge Thing has been discovered nearby. Even so those who have there. disappeared may have done something very clever. Lovely. So we got uh, uh, three science and five influence. Influence is the supreme and ultimate resource in this game. Uh, it allows you. Uh, it basically limits in every way your your expansion and and development as a society. So we'll have to uh, keep that on the priority. We got that knowledge stuff. So we got three of ten sciency things. Uh, looks like we have another... Is that a sanctuary? No, that's a... Uh, is that a deer? It's another deer. Um, we'll we'll head towards it a little bit. They, they move every turn, too, so I might lose access to them. I presume you've played dribbles? Uh, let's pull around here. See if we can have a look down at this river. So this, this area here has a question mark, which means it's an unknown strategic resource. 
Um, so that could be good. It might be iron or something else like that. Uh, and it's got horses and it's got copper in it. This is where we want to have our city very, very early on. Or at least uh, connect that thing extremely early on. An event. Seeds of an idea. So we get to choose between either uh, grinding up all the wheat, the grain that we just found, and give uh, plus two food on city or outpost. Um, and or we can do um, increase research for domestication. I'm going to go with the grind food. Oh, in the nomadic tribe. Uh, I think this lasts through permanently. Doesn't it? I don't know. I think so. I don't remember, but if it doesn't, then I made the wrong the wrong call. Oh, you have not seen any content or played. Well, it's about a year and a half old, like I was saying, and uh, a lot of fun to it. So, okay, we got opportunity here. We could either go back up north and zoom around. We could go over here with our dude. He could uh, come up this way and try to go around. But one of the option, the star options is to kill, uh, is to hunt creatures. So let's do that. Uh, we can, um, we can start the hunt here. Uh, no, let's start this hunt. Okay, so it's one or the other. We'll do manual battle. So you can see how there's, like, an area here. The blue and lighter bluish, whatever, gray, these are the areas that the two armies are able to spawn in. And this changes adjusts according to the size of the armies and the events. Uh, and the gray area will be the battlefield area. So, we can hit manual battle. And then it's going to try to suggest where we should stand. I wholeheartedly agree with this, because if you can see, there's elevation bonuses here. We're going to actually just uh, leave our dude here and deploy. We attack first, so we're going to defend that position, and this deer's enraged by our insult. So he's going to run around, <laughs> he runs around in circles and smacks everybody. But he took a huge, huge damage there, so we can attack down. He's got a negative for being uh, on a river tile. And uh, for being partially damaged, his strength is reduced. So we have a potential to either kill or mostly kill him off now. It's 43 to 45 damage. It will take anywhere from 0 to 20. Oh, we took a little... A minor, we took 12 damage. All right. Excellent. Battle finishes and we're left standing where we were. So if we had a stack of units, three or four guys together, up to four, I guess, they would all fight in that battle together. Spoils of War, we gained five food, which is great. Uh, and we got five more influence. We'll talk about that more later. We lost 20% of our health. Actually, 21, it looks like. And uh, killed an enemy unit. There we go. We also have one one tag up here on our hunting star. Uh, end that turn. We don't have quite enough. Five more food and we'll actually get... Uh, oh, not next turn. Five more food and we would get ourselves a... Uh, um, a new character. But I'm going to step up here. Get that science. Because science tokens are really important. Oh, I guess we still do get to have that fight, because he ran around. All right, let's do this. Um, yeah, I guess I want to start right here. That's fine there. Oh, he started down there. Well, that's convenient. Uh, yeah, we can attach straight down at him. Big bonus there. He's going to come up and fix his, uh, his elevation minus. That's not as not as clean as the last battle, and if we lose, we lose. Like, if we run out of health, we're dead. This is the only character we have, so, you know, it's a little risky. I know it's a fairly steady, a fairly certain win. That should finish him off right there. There we go. 43% health. Oof. Combat strength changed from 10 to 9. Aww. It's because we're so wounded. Ah, but we got some more food, and therefore we got another unit. So this unit is not, um, doesn't have to stay in our group. We can actually separate them. Oh, we can't now, because we got it during a combat. So we, we used up its its moves for the turn. All right, now we've got this, uh, an opportunity here. Let's take this fully healed unit and walk down this way. I think we got a food supply over there. We'll take them around, and next turn we'll pick... Oh, I didn't, it didn't separate. I clicked wrong. My bad. Oops. It was supposed to... Oh my goodness, somebody has already chosen the Nubians. <laughs> so yeah, if we look to the cultures, there are now two chosen. Babylonians and Nubians have already been picked. Mm-hmm. Yikes, that was quick. Uh, I'm going to select this guy and tell him to move over there. There we go, now we separated them out. 
They can both go independently and gather stuff. This way. We'll step in here and get a little more. There's 10 food for that one. Now, before this guy goes any further, I want to move you up here and up this way to explore what's down here. I want to see a little more around this area because we definitely want to be settled in. Uh, we want to take control of that tile real soon. Uh, we got an opportunity to have uh, reduced defense research or a refugee group. Um, we'll take the refugees. So we got ourselves another population. We're now at three of five. These guys have a full set of moves available. I'm going to move them uh, out of the... Oh, okay, that works for sure. Uh, out of the uh, trees. They have a reduced um, mobility. Ah, look at that. Now we got a uh, an unknown pink-colored uh, national border there. Uh, I'm going to bring... Oh, this guy's already moved, has he? Okay, that's weird. All right, that was all that same turn. We're at 4 of 10 for the science, 2 of 5 for the battles, and uh, 3 of 5 for the... Um, for the growth. I really like getting a lot of population early on before we get, uh, before we commit to the next era. This whole uh, mechanic of your tribes gaining food uh, around the map and getting uh, bonuses from it disappears the moment you, uh, you leave this era. There is a, uh, lovely mammoth, which is, uh, way too strong for us, but... Let's uh, keep moving through here. Who are these guys? They don't have a... They've got an unknown number, so they haven't picked yet. What's over here? Obsidian. Obsidian is a resource that provides 2% industry... Uh, industrial boost for all cities and for stability. Very nice. Now, let's bring this guy down. Have a have a look around at this area. Ooh, a science spot. Nice. Oh, we ran out of mobility. See, those thick forests are hard to move through. If we move along the, rain, the distance of a... Wait a second. If we move along the uh, line of a river, we get better mobility. The Phoenicians have now been gobbled up. Who else is missing? The Phoenicians, Nubians, Egyptians, and Babylonians have all been taken. So we got six left. Oof. All right. Let's get some science there. And we might even get the three three here. It's Maxi. There you go. Unlock the star with the science one. Beautiful, except for I'm really not content with only three population to begin with. That's a pretty small number. We can do it, but... Time for your first oh, battle. There we go. I mm -hmm. picture absolutely dying to see how your fighters handle themselves. All right, Tribes Legacy. So we get to pick this one because we just got our first star. So we can either add a Waddle and Daub Legacy trait, which gives us plus one industry per population in a city. Um, and plant lore is a food per population, or we can go astronomy, which is one science per population. I'm going to say we go with storyteller for this character. All right, now we are the, on the defensive, but this is our defensive position we have to guard. So we would have to stand here and they'd have to come to us to fight us. Uh, we could also, uh, open this up and just simply retreat. Our will just, uh... Oh. Army will be, yeah, no, we, we got lots of room to run here. All right. We will uh, hit the remind me later on button on that. There you go. A good solid retreat there. Got far enough away that it shouldn't be an issue. So battle, that's not a declaration of war. There is no bat war unless you uh, cross into their actually defined borders. Not the little dot, but an actual city borders. Or tactically, de or uh, strategically declare war on them in a uh, diplomatic status. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these uh, these options. So we could have the Assyrians, the Harappans, the Hittites, the Mycenaeans, the Olmecs, or the Zhao. The Zhao have a um, her, their uh, uh, aesthetic, aesthete, whatever that's however that's said. So are those. So basically, their focus is on influence. Uh, those two. This one is the Mycenaeans. They are military, and I believe so are the Hittites. And then we have the farmers, the agrarian uh, Harappan, and we have the uh, expansionist um, Assyrians. So um, let's look through these. Basically, this is a, uh, you get this bonus while you're actively this civilization. When we finish the next age, this classical or ancient era finishes, and we go to the classical era, we'll switch from to a civilization that was 
historically in that era and we'll keep some of the features like any of these dune buildings any of these specialty buildings we build stay on the map uh we can keep building the units but of course they'll get they'll be you know obsolete at some point and we get this bonus for forever the raid master so this unique trade will be retained through the eras uh regardless of how your empire evolves we'll get plus one movement speed on units and plus five combat strength bonus when ransacking an uh with an army uh the harappans are the agrarians so uh also aside from you know all this information this, this information at the top determines uh bonus fame from um bonus fame from getting stars related to their topic um uh affinity action greener pastures uh attracts a single population from every adjacent oh that's right foreign territory to the selected city will trigger a grievance against you uh for victim empires once triggered this action will be available again after refilling the agrarian affinity meter cool um so uh that's a funky ability to draw in population from other civilizations nearby um affinity bonus community gains five stability when gaining population cool uh, so we get fertile inundation, plus one food on tiles that produce food, and plus one food on rivers. That's throughout all the ages if you start with these guys. The canal network is uh, kind of like a farmer's quarters, uh, or it acts as a farmer's quarters. It's their specialty one with plus three food. It reduces the stability uh, by 10, which almost all quarters do. And we'll explain that in a minute. And then two food per adjacent farmer's quarters, and plus one farmer slot on city or outpost and is considered a river so it functionally acts to extend rivers uh or works as a river um and the characters that you start with are runners so your little characters that we've got now the three people or whatever would change into this instead of a basic scout which is pretty cool um they're they're decently mobile units Quite mobile, actually, and uh, they ignore movement penalties from force, so they can really move around the map pretty good. Hittites, militarists, similar to the other guys, except for uh, they had different uh, um, bonuses. Um, occupying cities and stuff. We got some money bonuses from this, uh, from their bonus building. Cyclopean fortress, again, distinct uh, for defensive structures. Uh, act as a maker's quarters and a garrison for spawning units in. Uh, unit industry cost, so troops are easier to build, and you start with a little experience from them. The Olmex influence on territory, so every territory gives you plus three influence. That's pretty impressive. The Olmec head is a building that gives you a special building that gives you plus one influence, plus three food, one influence per adjacent farmers' quarters, and farm slots, uh, farmers on cities. One extra farmer slot. And the javelin thrower is their melee unit that has no required uh, resource. So they don't need to have, like, copper or anything like that. Hmm. So I would say either the Olmex would be my preference. Uh, these guys are these guys are pretty cool. Uh, but they're very fairly mountain-dependent, I think, aren't they? Is that them? Um... Ultra Blitz. Immediately bring one of your empire's territories back into the sphere of into its sphere of influence and gain influence for each adjacent territory already in your sphere. If you do not have the strongest influence in the territory, there is a high chance it will start converting back after you lose the action. Yeah, yeah. Um, Confucian School. Um, okay, so this is not the one it used to be. This used to... Oh, no, no, it is. Plus five science per adjacent mountain. That could be huge if you have a lot of mountains nearby. Do we have a lot of mountains nearby? I don't think we have any mountains nearby. Well, up here. Right, these tiles are mountain. So if we had a uh, school here, we would get ten science just for being next to these two mountain tiles. Which is massive amounts. Massive amounts per, per one of those, so... You could build a town here and a town here, and each of them could have a spot next to this mountain. You could build a lot of science that way. If you right there would build, give you uh, a bunch of science, fifteen as well there. So some really uh, land dependent bonus there. But I think we either go with the Harappan for the massive growth and population booming, or we go for the Almex for the influence um, to. Uh, 
to grow um grow influence and gain more territory and stuff i'm thinking we'll probably go with the rapid i have not i don't think i've ever played them they were they're like super popular early on uh when the game first developed and your character is cool because he uh he switches before you confirm he switches his clothing according to what whatever tribe you're or whatever uh ancient population you're going with so now the other thing is one two three four four groups have already been chosen there's only three others that will be picked from these so we could risk it and try to get a little more growth let's see if we've got any uh short-term opportunities for growth here probably not hmm the other thing we need to do is actually set up a town. To do so, we use a bit of influence and claim a territory. This is an outpost. We click this button, and it's going to show us these are suggested spots where it might be uh, convenient to um, to build, might be valuable to build, because this will produce 15 food and 10 production because of the uh, proximity items around it. This would be better production, but less food. And uh, you got to be careful with this, or it'll accidentally build. No, see that? I don't want to do that at all. Don't do that. That's silly. Um, we could also start our town down this way. But I don't know what else is down here. Rivers are extremely potent early on. Uh, I'd like to probably start here and then gain access by influence to this one. Set up an outpost to gain access to this copper, uh, the horses, and the whatever. So I think we take one more turn and risk a little bit here to get these guys to move around and see what else they can find. Uh, we got a science thing there, but I really am not super interested in prioritizing the science. If this is worth 15 food, and it was, excellent. So we just gained an extra population. That's pretty darn big for this, uh, at this point. Separate this guy out and not attack that mammoth, because that would be just suicide. Have a look. We got another landmass or island or something off that way. Is this guy able to move still? Yeah, he is. Pop over to that other river. And you can come for a look down across the valley here, the plains here. Okay. Not bad. There's definitely a heavily forested space down there, which would, could prove very valuable. You're at 10, so if this is 10 or more... Oh, what? Oh, I forgot about the terrain thing. Ah. All right, now he's got two population coming up here. And I'd bet you anything, if he finds this copper, he's going to try to claim it. So... We could go for one more star, which if we hit this, we'll get it. Let's try, let's risk it. There we go, we got the growth, and got the growth star with 15 food for that person. Excellent. And uh, then at that point, I think it's time to uh, time to make a commitment here. I think I'll take this guy over somewhere and build. Now, the city center is going to matter big time for... Oh, yeah, that, see, they've started trying to claim that territory now, too. Um, it's going to matter big time as far as the uh, accessibility... Uh, for defensive str defensiveness and so on. Okay, we have now definitely have some more opportunity down there, but I I, def I I for sure want to be in here somewhere. Hmm. If we built somewhere in here, we could have limits to our mobility here out of the place, but also we'd be in a valley, which might be a really terrible place to settle for security. We could build somewhere up here. On here would be well defensive, easily defended against the river, but yeah, it's all right. That's actually a pretty good spot. Let's pop in up there. All right, so now we got three turns for Parima to um, to get its population settled. So it's it's building an outpost. Now outposts only claim the territory as kind of like throwing down your flag. They don't really actually hold it by any stretch. Let's grab this extra person here. And, uh, you know, you got the mobility because you're on the river. We're going to run you off this way. This guy's already used some of his movement. Uh, let's go... I guess we're going down the valley here. There we go. A little more food. Eh, not enough. 
Okay, so we got saffron or sage rather up there. We got horses. We got copper. Uh, we don't have any other resources real close by. Let's see what we can find along the water's edge here. Not bad. It's a nice thick forested space. So we'll we'll be able to use that later. So now we gonna we want to definitely choose a group. See if we still got them. The harappan. Everybody's still there. So we could either again go Almex Al or the. Uh, the the Harapan or whatever however it's said, but I think we'll choose these guys. Go ahead and adopt that with our funky outfit and the, and the blue oh, dye. The challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. All While right. the Harapans certainly had markets, they left few remains. Please show us what they might have done. All right, as the Harapans, uh, you've reached the ancient era. So we have uh, agrarian stars as our primary. Um, uh, Era stars unlocked this turn would grant uh, 150. So we get 50% basically more. Uh, let's see. The reward for getting exp. Uh... Oh, pardon me. Oh, boy. Uh, the Builder Star, for instance. The Builder Star is 100 uh, fame. If we achieve this by. Um, what is it? Build six districts in your empire. That would be the first bronze star. Of uh, of the of this era, we can then get another one and another one. There's three bronze, silver, and gold stars for each of the three, so a total of 21 potential stars. You have to get seven in order to move on to the next era. So it doesn't all have to be it can't all be focused on one area. In fact, you have to have more than two areas of uh, progression. But the bonuses from these guys we will hold for right here, fertile inundation. That'll be uh, for everything. So we got this the. Uh, one science per population in the city and outpost as what we chose before and then there's also deeds like um build a wonder uh you get 50 fame for that so the reason this fame matters is because it's the way you win the game you can literally win the final battle in the game and wipe out the your all your enemies or your greatest enemy and still lose the game because it's based on fame so you can have really really uh crappy stuff at the along the early stages of the game and then kind of come back from it but yet not actually win the fame game so see how our guys turned from instead of scouts they turned to runners scouts is the normal unit so uh next turn we get to or this turn we get to use the new uh, items so we got pearls up here that's not bad let's uh, give ourselves a little shuffle now these guys also have a no reduction for moving through um forest which is awesome we know for sure these people down here, whomever they are. Uh, we don't know details about them yet, do we? Um, I don't know if we do. No, it's not going to tell us who is what. Not yet. Not through this screen. We'll have to go meet them. Again, now that we're in the next era. Uh, I don't think we can get up through there. I'm fairly certain we cannot. Let's keep uh, exploring the world. More mobile than normal, which is nice. Uh, the rivers do still stop us, which is not nice. Uh, two more turns to finish that initial spot. So let's go for a run around the river, shall we? Purple is our, seems to be, or this blue, I guess, is our color for the map. So that's fine. We have 40 fame. The leader has uh, 70 fame. We've got 40. But you notice how the third and fourth already have a star? So it's something they did gave them a star already. Pretty crazy. All right, right down to the shores here. We're going to take out these sanctuaries whenever we can find them. Uh, because if we don't, they're going to spawn... Uh, um, AI, like, city-state sort of things. The Zhao have been chosen by the orange-ish horsey people. We got 10 gold for that. Gold is uh, not particularly valuable early on. It's it's good. It's 
kind of a, a speed boost. Mostly. Alright, so this tile, I'm thinking we might build right up in here. Might build, like, outposts right up kind of here. Lots of food because of the valley next to it, but then we'd go east and get a lot of, uh, um, a lot of industrial production. But most importantly, claiming that t tile will give this area our, uh, our flag, basically. Have a look down here. Not much. Uh, we got something there of value. Uh, we don't know what it is yet, so it's a strategic resource, which is good. We definitely want to get a, our hands on as many of those as possible. Yes. I'm going to pop through here. Yeah, I thought the terrain was showing that. Off we go. Uh, did I just step on that layer? I did. Okay, that's fine. We can ransack the layer. <laughs> Layers are also spawn points, but they produce aggressive uh, aggressive things when they uh, through, their, through their development. Over here. Ah! Oh, that's a heavy cliff. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go around that way. Not really what I intended, but... Runners are awesome. Alright, this guy's gonna come down and have a, a better look-see at what's going on this way. Let's, uh, let's pop over to here. And we can run down the shore. Now, this town will have zero effective population at the beginning, which first is not ideal. First means a first step into a new territory. And a new extension of your empire's power. But also... A new vulnerability. Lovely. Um, yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, if you're if you're new to the to the uh, chat here, let me know. Say a hi. How you doing? Uh, let's run down this way. Is this a road? Some sort the of path going on. Ah, the there fact that they have horses and siege engines might indicate their preferences as a neighbor. Hmm. Like dead. All right, the Assyrians. It is. Um. Greetings, Sovereign. So, this is I the Assyrian leader. Always be courageous and sincere. Uh, thank you. She wants us to always be courageous and sincere. Um, does it say anything about her traits other than that specifically? I guess not. Uh, so this flag should indicate their type. I think that's expansionist. Correct? Um, we are the Harappan or the Assyrians? Pass them. Oh, this is, no, this is the next era. Right. We can't, we're not seeing the, this is the classical era. Uh, previous. No. That's not it, huh? Okay, never mind. I wanted to see the cultures of the of this era. All right, well, that's fine. So the next era has others that we just uh, had a sneak peek of there. One more turn, I believe. Oh no, this is finished. Good, this is already settled as an outpost. We can now spend uh, a whopping zero influence for our first city to make it into an a actual city. city. means shelter for those who need it. A place to store food, pens for the pigs. It may not be glorious, but it beats sleeping under trees. Indeed. Uh, let's keep running the coast with this guy. You're gonna Let's come go. down the river, see what we can find down this way. I think we're gonna keep hitting that coast up here. Hmm? What? Why did I lose? There you go. Off we go. I did something weird there. Ah, there's mercury. Not the god, but the uh, metal. Off there. Pull down here and have a better look see around. This, this is like these are substantially improved uh, mobility with these boys. That's interesting. Okay, you're gonna probably not follow that route, that path then. You'll probably actually come back up towards the city. Perhaps. Maybe not. Uh, so the city here, uh, there's a bunch of things we can do. The top is the uh, focus of its citizens. So if I took one of these runners, sent them back home to become a regular citizen in the city, uh, a population, um, they would become one of these people. So, military units, scouts, everything that you make comes from population. Uh, the whopping of zero population in, in Harappan. So, basically, population that is not um, associated with a, with a unit is going to be in your built in your city. We can go ahead and add districts, which are... Um, a district is a tile, fills a tile. So, if I build a farming district, I actually place it on a tile. It gets bonuses, but it also improves... Or it also allows access 
to the resources neck are surrounding it that are of its type. So in this case, it's a farm one. It'll remove any production. If this tile had, like here, it would remove um, the industrial production, but it would add food and allow us to access any neighboring food tiles. As well, being next to each other, farm tiles improve each other. So that's those are districts. This is for our uh, maker's quarters, which is our industry. And then this is our specialty district. Um, often built around great rivers, where extensive use of canals can transform the surrounding lands into fertile plains. Hmm. So it functions as a fairly potent um, river tile, but we could go off this way and add all, make all of this into river tiles. That'd be pretty good. That would add nine food. Notice the minus ten on the purple. That's stability. Every district that you build extends your... Um, reduces your stability as you go outwards. Now, I could put, build there, but the if I build here, I'm next to a mountain. But get, you get nothing from those mountain tiles unless you're building an industry. Um, for some reason, that's not the case anymore. Or I'm thinking differently. Hmm, it's suggesting we go down here with our farms. I don't hate that idea. Okay, we go with population growth because we are these harapans. Uh, do they have a bonus to proximity? Yes. So I would rather it be here and get a farmer's quarters surrounding it and get five of those around than here and only have four around because the city center and a mountain there. Yeah, I think we'll build it here. Well, that's a lot different. Oh, right, because these tiles are outside of our territory. Ah, okay. Then maybe we bring her over here. Mm, maybe not. Maybe we'll go production that way. I'm not sure. All right, I'll take a suggestion. Go this way, then. Good. Uh, we can also add uh, infrastructure, which is like buildings inside your city center. So this one would give a bonus to the city. In this case, it uh, is four influence. We're currently making a whopping six per day, or per turn. Uh, so that would actually be a substantial improvement. We'll tag that on at the end. And then these ones are public ceremonies. These are stackable. It takes a long time to produce and then adds a permanent boost to whatever resource. In this case, it adds five food per turn forever to the place. So super good to get early because it'll add, you know, basically infinite food growth, but, or not infinite, endless bonus to the food growth. All right, next. Progress. So we have a uh, research uh, technology tree. This is it here. We've got, it's a fairly um, narrow technology tree, but requires a substantial amount of boosting, or of work to get there. Um, we cannot get to these ones until we pass the next era. Um, we have to get to the, this is classical era. We have to get to the classical era uh, before we can access this. Unless you're playing as a science-based uh, group. If you're playing as a, like the Babylonians from the early one, they can access the next one early. But you don't usually get uh, bottled up with tech. Um, I think we'll go ahead and look for these uh, riders and domestication. Partially because we can get the access to those riders through the horses that are in our new territory. But also because uh, they're really, really potent units. Um, Alright, let's keep you exploring around this way. We can actually go through the... The Harappan territory. We could actually, or not Harappan, the Assyrian territory. We could actually stop here and stomp this thing if they would, you know, if they didn't fight back. I'm on it. Which I'm sure they would. Let's, go. Let's explore down here and see what we can find. I wish there was a, hold on, is there a fast movement option? So, like, their actual, like, steps. Um... Um, let's get the edge panning speed up a little bit. Hmm. Not sure. Battle animation speed. Speed that up. Thought there was like a movement. All right.
movement, UI. No, I guess not. Okay. Just wanted like a faster movement. At least on battlefields it'll be faster. Let's see. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Oh. Okay. Seven competitors doesn't count uh, counts us, apparently. Not what I not what I thought I was doing. I thought I was getting rid of two people out of the ten potential, but apparently that's not how that works. 10 competitors would be all of us. Uh, let's get this guy over to the next river. You can, uh, well, you can come into the river as well. I'm gonna bring you back around this way. We may need to defend our lands. See what happens if I run, wander in here and start ransacking his town. Ransack! Uh, nine turns to do so. It would give us 43 bucks, so no. Not gonna do it, because there's no way he's gonna let me spend 40 or nine turns doing that. Now, if I had the other guy down here, well, probably should have. Because this other guy is gonna be able to make it down there, and he would half the time then. Because there'll be two of them working on it. Hmm. Gained a population in Harappa. So now that's a, a worker working up here, we can tell it to prioritize certain things. Like I'll, I'll set it for city growth to prioritize. Um, but right now our stability is at 90%. Um, why is that at 90%? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we dropped it by 10 because of the, uh, because we built. I don't know why we dropped it by 10. It's going, it's on its way up to 100. Ah, look at that. Look who we found. Uh, this is a scout with 13 strength, 5 movement, and 1. So these guys, we are actually technically a better um, strength unit. But not going to do much for us if we're standing downhill attacking up into the forest. So see if he does anything about it. Off we go. Run you out and around. Follow me. Now, it is simultaneous move, so if I left him standing there and the other, the AI moved his unit into that range, that would be, uh, that would allow him contact mm -hmm. and conflict directly. Understood. Go up onto the river here. There's his actual city with a population of two, 15 defense. You do have to actually legitimately siege out cities. He's got double obsidian in town. Ooh. That's going to make his places unpleasantly stable. All right, let's move you down towards here as well. You can continue your uh, northern coastal scouting expedition. Ah, uh, an, an interest space here. Something, a goodie hut of some sort. It's, uh, oh, that's a river as well, unfortunately. Let's go. We're going to be slow, slow crossing all these rivers. Over this way. Wonderful. So these are the Cho. With luck, they'll prefer thinking and meditating to unleashing their chariots. Hmm. All right, where have we found you? We feel this proposal would benefit all. They have proposed, I must um... ask my people. A non-aggression. I'm going to counter saying, give me cash and I'll think about it. You must enrich the offer. They refuse their treaty. Interesting development. <laughs> I am not too eager to sign a non-aggression treaty with them. Where do we see them? Ah, down there past the Assyrians. I like it. Off we go. Oh, there's an Assyrian army that we just uh, got blocked by. So the the it slows them down. These spikes on the edge that'll cause both groups to not have the mobility. So in that case, uh, the advantage might be in letting them me. move first next turn. I'm gonna bring these guys down to the same area. Come over here. And we'll unify those as a stronger unit for the exploration down that way. 
Uh, let's head down this river, see what we can find. Ah! We have discovered a uh, region. This is a, these are like kind of sub-regions. There's a bit of... Um, I don't know what the point is of these, but... These particular regional sections here, but... It's a, it's a map feature anyways. It's not a wonder, per se. It's just a nice looking place. Um, oh, we got our next population? Yeah, no. Yes, we did. Well, this place is already growing? Huh, it is. Alright then. So much food there, it's already grown before it's even fully established. Don't mind that at all? Curiosity collected in the top left there. Uh, what was the curiosity? I didn't... 20 coins. Cool. Alright. Uh, lots of All crazy right. snow out here. That's okay. not ideal. I'm on it. Quite a lot out there. A couple of strategic resources, which definitely could be valuable. I don't see anybody up this way, which is not guaranteed they're not there, because it just means that we haven't come across their territory yet. Yeah, okay, see now he moved first. He moved before I did, so he only got one movement because there was uh there was tension there slowing him down. We get full yeah. full movement because we move later. Although, you know, running away from them, you might get uh it, it yeah. changes the way that the escape escapes, retreats, and chases happen. And there are horses south of them there, which is eh, not ideal. Uh, let's go up this way. More copper and more obsidian. If he took these two and this, it might even give him enough to have a monopoly on, uh, or at least a partial monopoly on obsidian on the map. Uh, looks like, oh yeah, we do have a valley through here. We have a passage. Chalbi, what is this? This region, sterile terrain, sterile region, is a tundra-y place. Two more turns, we get our second territory online. I wouldn't mind getting this stuff connected early as possible. All the cities get a bonus, and then food bonus as well. And that would also have this resource in it, which is pearls. Uh, more stability. What else do we have access to? We really need these horses connected, so that we'll, we'll bring those online as soon as we can. Okay, this is the first civic that we have access to. Um, let's have a look at the details. We have two civics actually available here. Uh, so we have the founding myths. Do we rule by divine mandate or natural right? So there's four axes here where you can go either left or right with. So uh, the economic, the geopolitical, the order... Um, or the social. So tradition versus, sci versus uh, science, or progress, I suppose it is. And then there's liberty versus authority, and homeland versus world. And then there is uh, collectivism versus individualism. So uh, in the middle, there's just a stability of 10. You go to the edges, and you get a bonus to, uh, you know, in this case, industry pr industry production or money production on that category. Uh, here, we could go to, um, in this middle category, so basically four dots. If we go down to the second, the left-hand first tier, kind of mid-left, we get five stability in all cities instead of ten from here. And then we'd get two faith on each territory. And over here, you get four faith on each territory, but no bonus stability. Uh, likewise, on the right, we could increase more science. So there's these choices throughout this entire civics tree, and each of them has a different cost. They allow different different features and so on. In this case, uh, le the legitimacy one for uh, customary laws or codified laws, we have 50% reduction in the out um, creation of outposts. So that is uh, uh, basically would allow for better, uh, for more expansion by territories, whereas this side is only a 20%, but it's for the attaching of outposts to the city, which is another influence cost, and then absorbing other cities into a large, one larger city. So I think we'll do whichever one's going to give us influence first. Uh, so I'm going to go here for probably for the... Oh, we're currently sitting here. Hmm. Probably because an event we chose. 
So if we enact this one, we will actually push the bar. Oh, no, we won't. My bad. The, the, the line is where it's going to go to. That's where it is right now. If we enact this, we go to the right, to the progress. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm mostly concerned about the influence. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. All right, so uh, that was our first civic uh, decision. Now, we only have 14 right now, but we have 15 as an income. So our civics down in the bottom left here. Um, we could do the other one. The, not that one, we just did that one. The uh, legitimacy. Uh, we don't have enough to do it. It costs 50, uh, 25, but we could do that very soon, like next tur turn or two. All right. Let's get these guys continuing uh, their scouting around the outside of very friendly territory. Over this way. Our wonderful little scouts. Domestication research completed. Excellent. So when we get horses, we'll be able to do something with those horses right away. Now, we get can get them here, but let's look at our research options. I'd like to get the Artisan Square. Specialist craftsman. Harvest natural, uh, nature's most precious min materials. Selling uh, the best finds. Uh, selling the best finds for a handsome price when the market is handy nearby. So, um, extracts any luxury resource from the deposit uh, it's built on. Must be placed on a luxury resource deposit. So, uh, I believe we have... Where is it? Um, I thought there was another one listing here. Maybe not. So, this is a new district. We're going to go with that one for the calendar. Uh, that'll offer us also the granary, so allowing you a notable increase to our food production. One more turn till we get the second uh, the territory uh, linked in. We'll go, we're going to follow the river here because the mobility boost. Uh, that's unfortunate. We just got attacked by a bear coming around the corner. So we're going to hit retreat, and thankfully we went the right way. You gonna run far enough to explore that thing? Almost. So he has no more movement that turn, but he's done okay. All right, now we got this other civic we can do. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna go with the creating the outpost uh, cost. The attach an outpost cost we would use right away once we attach that other one. This is also a substantial. That seems to leave a lot of interpretation reduction. right and wrong. Not to mention yours and mine. All right, so now we're looking at the, uh, this is the society page. This is the influence. Um, territory owner King Drake Hawkins of the Harappans has 62% hold. Uh, okay, there we go. We see why they're, where the influence comes from. Uh, embraced by us in X number of turns. Okay. Um, nine influence in the territory out of 24. Influence from that, the Assyrians in this territory comes from uh, their territories. Mm -hmm. And we have 15 from our territories and nine from, from there. So we're winning. This is also apparently got some of their influence, which is unpleasant. So, anyways, uh, let's look down here. They are, yeah, we're we're kind of we're kind of crossing influences here. Uh, basically, we have to outproduce them in influence, or we're going to have some border, some serious border tensions. Well, if we outproduce them, we'll have serious border tensions that'll be in our favor, I suppose. It's a better way to put that. All right, what's this? These are mercenaries. Okay, these are an independent people, the Acadians. They're a young people group, so they, um, what does it say? These people do not have an outpost or city. They will be looking for one, however. So they spawn out of those, like, um, I don't even see any around, but, uh, the spots where we were ransacking. They spawn out of those, and then they, uh, they go like this, and then they spend a bit of time to go around and find themselves a home. I don't know what they're doing, but, you know, we'll let them be. And we'll come looping around this way and have a look at what's uh, available. Okay, so this is a coastal spot with with uh, some horses. He's going to want a piece of that for sure. 
Let's fall down the river here, see what we can find. Let's go. More horses. Well. Well, well, well. Off we Top go. the river there. Uh, you're gonna actually give me some vision down right through here. Come over here. And now we're gonna get to, up against these uh, our other new Off friendly neighbors. Lovely. Impressive. A cultural wonder that makes me want to pull out my toy blocks and go crazy. <laughs> Not sure if that was it. In constructing an Dr. emblematic Andrew, quarter, you have become a builder and a creator. Mm. There is more to creating an empire than just yelling orders. No, no I think I like yelling orders. Uh, Blades of the Empire. All right. As your horizons widen, your armies grow in lockstep with the, your ambitions. Now with military power spread over several regiments, it's time to decide the nature of soldiers who comprise your armies. All right, so these civics only become available based on events that happen, activities that are going on during the production uh, process of the game. So do we want to get basically go with conscripts, which is, well, it uh, leads us towards authority or towards liberty, one or the other, but conscripts is cheaper units, whereas professional soldiers is better units. Um, I'm going to say we probably want to go with the better units, but we don't have the influence yet, so we don't even have to decide that. All right, now you're going to pop around and, and look through what's going on over here. We've got three population now. He's on a hill here, so it's reasonably well defended, right? Because all this space is going to have walls. You can see if I mouse over this, it's showing the preview of a combat. You see the fenced in area? Uh, if I were sieging this place, I would have to have a way to break those walls before I could get into his city. It's quite involved. Or just shoot his people over the walls. That's an option, too. Two population now in the in Harappa, and they're working on the pottery shop. We could buy it out if we had the cash, which we don't. Um, we could drag and drop these guys to different spots to improve things. I'm going to keep them going on the food production focus. We don't have horses yet. But we can, we have this uh, district that we placed down here, this new fancy one. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put another spot down here to, uh, after this thing, to queue up another, hmm. Yeah, after the pottery shop, we're going to queue up another farmer's spot. That's going to provide uh, quite a bit of bonus, I think it said nine or something like that, bonus food. Oh, there we go. Look, this does have a production. Yes, it does. So if I put one over here, does it get bonus? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it gives a bonus. I don't know. Continue. Explore some more. Uh, I don't want to mess with the tango with the bear. What I am going to do is walk near him, though. Open it up and retreat. Free mobility! Hey, look at this. We discovered a something. What did we discover? Oh. The Yenisei River. All right, then. Ah, we can get onto that. Not quite. I was going to say, if we can get onto that thing, we can uh, ransack it, which would be an okay idea. Unless, of course, that were, say, behind an enemy territory, then we'd want to leave it, because it would produce some uh, heartache for them. All right, let's pop down here. Hopefully these guys don't get aggro on us. It seems like they didn't. That's good. I'm going to keep along the coast here. See what we can find. Population in the capital has grown again. All right. We now have a population big enough to uh, begin a faith. So the main plaza is the central piece of the city. Multiple territories can be assigned to... Uh, multiple territories can be attached. Like, we're going to get this territory where we have it now. We can link this territory to the city. That becomes all one. So this spot becomes an administrative center, and this is the city center. So that's what's going on with the faith thing discussion here with main plaza or main plaza and administrative center. If you have two administrative centers, so three territories per city, this ends up being equal to this. I'm going to say we probably go with polytheism for now. Or, well, we'll go with it and stick with it. But, um... Doing that would mean that we get the advantage 
we only get this only is better for this particular uh, choice only gets better after the first after the fourth uh, section is attached after the fourth territory is assigned and there is the faith department so we are producing some faith in here um converting the harappan pol to polytheism in three turns this territory currently follows animism uh which has a 20 percent hold or so nothingness uh -huh. that's how they play it here anyways uh state religion is uh, of the territory's empire harappan polytheism has reached 75 percent hold and so this religion is currently converting the territory harappan polytheism has recently become the most influential in territory conversions of its population will be completed in three turns display the a background of the religions blah 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 all right so we have uh animism coming in from here cool uh but we'll actually once this is converted it'll start pushing out to the other spaces as well if we have more growth than they do we get bonuses because of uh in conflict between them and in trade and other things if we have the primary uh, group now if we could attach this to here that would be awesome what is it going to cost us to attach um 30 influence we have the 30 influence let's do that right now expansion star has been earned so there's our first star and that's why most of them get the star right away everybody four people have that star now um so let's look at our stars there we go, fancy glowing uh, expansion star. We need three territories in order to get the next star. Very easy to get in this early stage. Uh, that quickly becomes more difficult as we go. Up here is our agrarian star, so we're about to get our first agrarian star, but once we hit 12 population. I've actually started this era many times with 12 population, so uh, easy to get, especially when you're agrarians. Um, and we've done basically nothing else. We got one uh, research, we got 21 coin uh, has been collected over the time period and 80 uh, influence. We need to get 600. So yeah, the next reward is 200 fame. So if you notice, once we switch to the next era, obviously this whole set of stars disappears. So we can only get the bronze, silver, and gold star, these 21 stars, we can only get while we're in the uh, ancient era. So moving on early would let us have access to new things, new technologies, other sieves that will give bonuses. But it leaves behind the opportunity to ever get these. So hanging out longer can be valuable if you're, especially if you're really close to getting uh, a major breakthrough. Um, now, how do I get this stuff again? How do I get these deposits again? Is it the... Uh... Is it the artisan's quarters? I don't remember um well let's let's put we got calendar in the works so let it let it continue uh if Follow you can me. get onto that layer and ransack it that would make me happy now. you're gonna come down to the river i suppose Over this way. come on down to the river all right let's uh let's keep exploring some more information about yeah. our lovely friendly neighbors up onto the river and go for a ride. Uh, looks like he's got... What has he got for units there? That's that's his uh, scout unit. So the equivalent of ours, ours is a little better. By default. Other guys down here. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to split these two up. I'm going to get one of them to come up top here. The other guy can come down to the river. I'm on it's a little riskier, a lot riskier, running them separately like that, but I'm an encampment. Non-hostile tribe. Homes of surrounding areas settled. Okay. If we get onto there, we can ransack that before it becomes an issue. Or we could leave it. Uh, it's a peaceful encampment, though, so it's probably best to just sack it. We feel this proposal would benefit all. The Assyrians that have interesting. proposed a non-aggression treaty. If they'll pay, I'll do it. You must enrich the offer. They have refused. And... Common at the beginning. It's not. They're not that. They're not that interested in doing it. All right. What do we got here? The pecking of poultry. Okay. The art of divination spreads across the empire. Research them for messages from the gods and animal entrails, the flight of birds, and the wheeling of the stars, uh, in holy uh, decoctions and elsewhere. 
Now, however, the practice has become so commonplace, so bizarre, that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating patterns of chickens is being interpreted by military commanders. What to do? We embrace it, we get celebrations in Harappa, so stability boost for 10 turns. Not relevant, because we are at high stability. Uh, we could forbid it, we gain faith because uh, it's uh, such heresy. We gain faith for 20, by 25% for 10 turns. That would be nice if we had a lot of faith, but it's a percentage-based thing. Uh, five science for 10 turns? I think that's what we go for. What are we making for science right now? Uh, let's see what our... Nine per turn for the whole... for the Empire. So that is a 50 plus percent increase in our research. So we reason... we use reason in that case. For sure. I like it. All right. Plop down the river here until, uh, run into a marsh. More information, we got saffron down here. That's stability and food. Farmers. You're getting unpleasantly close, sir. Thra discovered. Leader, uh, Assyria discovered the stunning Thar sterile territory. That is the Assyrians that got that discovery, okay. I think I will have these guys ransack this. All together. 22 bucks and stops that encampment from expanding way. to something yep. bigger and worse. Ah, look, can't go up that river. <laughs> That's a downward river. Uh -huh. Off we go. Okay. We have a battle that is underway over here. What's coming at me? A bear, probably? Uh, we can look to the other army. Yes, it is a bear. So that's a simple solution. Uh, run away! We ransacked the uh, the spot that he will spawn new bear cubs from. That's probably why he's angry. That and the, they're always angry. They just are angry when they see you. Ah, salt. Hmm, food and stability. Don't mind if we do. Eventually, maybe. But that's really, really far away for now. Uh, we, there is a bonus, or there's one of these stars that's related to, um, uh, where's the military? Militaristic star. So this is the last era we had, we could get, uh, the, the hunting star. That's for like taking out, um, deer and whatnot, not for taking out military troops. Hold on a second. Right then. I thought somebody was rattling at my door. Just like um, yeah, so uh, this one is for actual, like, fighting humans. So fighting that bear would not even give us a bonus for that. Rafa is six population. Calendar researched. Excellent. So let's see how these quarters works. How's they works? I'm going to go over here. Oh, right. Uh, right. Okay. Um, this is the city. Okay, the whole city is now this area. That's what. So I'm sitting over here looking at this. It's the same as this. It's one big old place now. So if I... Oh, there it is. If I mouse over here... Horse ranch. All right, let's add a horse ranch to the construction queue. Um, I'm going to shuffle it to the top. I want that done first. Uh, I don't know what we need for this. Oh, we need the technology bronze working for that. We don't under know what that is yet there at all. That's fine. So these are the uh, luxuries and whatnot. So I have a dude somewhere, don't I? Nearby? Do I? I don't. All right, it'd be nice to have a dude. Having dudes that can do stuff for you, that's nice. Let's run up this way. Keep her running. Uh, a curiosity over here for knowledge or something. So let's look that way. What are we going to find off this lovely direction? Nothing yet. It's pretty. Pretty and all. This is a crater. Oh, it's got a bonus uh, resources. And ebony down here. Uh, the wonderful hardwood. Four stability in all cities if you have it in your trade network. And three industry in the main plaza and three for the admin centers if it's in your cities. Excellent. All right, who's down here? We ransacked that. That'll uh, clear up some Over this way. 
potential later problems. Come over here. Acknowledge. We'll see A what's new at this independent lovely thing. people. And who are they? Time will tell if they are helpful, helpless, or history. All right, the Mulafine, that's what I was talking about, about the uh, whatevers. These are um, people who have, who are collectivism. They have collectivism as a ideology and they have liberty as an ideology. So if the further we are to those, the more they're going to naturally trust us, uh, as well as we can interact with them in various different ways, uh, I believe. Maybe not until we get there, but... Uh, but they have a little peace symbol on them, so they're not likely to engage in uh, aggroness right off the hop. Alright, you guys are going to keep... I'm just exploring as much information, getting as much territory information as I can, you know. Making the dragons on the map disappear as quick as we can. This is what? Terra Rosa. Ah. Waterfall. Berry bushes. So there's just little bonuses to the territories. Uh, let's look at our other people. Oh no, we got some research to choose. All right. Um, hmm. Now we could add uh, market squares as a thing soon. Um, reduce the cost of civics with laws. We could do the wheel, which would allow us to have access to the chariot, but we need two horse resources and, an, and a copper resource for that. I think we'll go with carpentry next. Get the uh, timber uh, improvements as well as archers. That would be lovely. We feel this proposal would benefit all. Jean really I wants. I must think, though I am inclined to say yes. Not yet. Uh, they really want a peace treaty or a non-aggression treaty. Right now, if our, we find our each other's troops out and out and about, as long as we're not inside the solid territory. Hello, quirky. Nice to see you. Uh, as long as we're not inside the official territory of their lands, uh, it's not considered war a warring thing to fight. Uh, this will stop skirmishes, so tolerate skirmishes or non-aggression pact. We're going to counter. If they pay us 59 bucks, we'll take it. They Sweet refused the again. I'm just kind of making it... Uh, make it you know, we're being hard to get, you know? We're staying a little on the hard to get side. Which is fine by me. How you doing, Quirky? Chris Bone in the house. G great game choice. Hey, thanks. It's a fun one. I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, hi, friend. Off we go. So these, we're actually like slowing each other down here dramatically. So you never want to be traveling with uh, uh, foreign neighbors. All right, I have to swing back around this way because we hit a border end there. We're really scouting to the south. We need to move further west. This guy's missed a bunch of territory in the middle of this mountain range here, but... Let's pop up. Uh, let's get over this way. Yeah, like up here, where this salt is. Get a better vantage point. Maybe even see what's down the hill. No, I don't get a view there. Okay. Let's pull around here. They've expanded further again. Oh no, that's the the Jow. And the Assyrians are uh, here, but they haven't actually claimed the territory as part of their city. Okay. I'd like to get this, whatever it is, but he has it right now. And then Saffron down here. This is a really nice territory in here. Look at all these trees. That'd be highly productive. An event. Fate of the Free Cities. Um... The world as it ever was is divided into rulers, uh, the rulers and the ruled. Great sprawling empires and proud independent cities. Your struggle is with, uh, with other empires, but you should not forget the part these free cities can play. They can be quite influential. All right, so we've got the independent cities. We haven't done the army composition one yet. We have 73 available influence. We had used up half of it to go this way and we're not building a unit yet. So we'll try to do that before we build a unit. Um, oh, this is for the, okay, cost of signing treaties with the independent peoples has dropped, or, uh, hiring their armies. Hmm. We couldn't, we can hire their armies, and they can be pretty potent. 
I think, though, the signing treaties with them is going to work. They may it. have more to offer than just their weapons. Assimilation does seem practical. So you can actually eventually get enough relations with a place like this to assimilate them, and that becomes a city in your empire. Straight up just turns into a city for us. So that would be huge. Uh, let's say we move... Oh, we can't get onto the river, huh? That's too bad. Oh, we'll skip around the river then. That one's going to take too long. Let's see what we can find down this way. This is the southern border of the Zhou. All right. Okay. Now back at the uh, city here, where is it? Back at Harappa. Come here, Harappa. I like the uh, the icon of the city. It's kind of awesome. The visuals on the map are gorgeous. You see, this is under construction, so it's got like the little cranes and stuff on it. Um, but the farms like sprawl out from places. They're being exploited for their resources. Wonderful. Uh, we have an obelisk of the gods, which is something I want to get done soon, but it's 13 turns. Um, these are shared projects, so we can actually have um, we can have other cities. Not this is an attached the same city, but if we had another city, we could actually have it also uh, helping out with the construction of the, this building. So that would be pretty awesome. But uh, this does not need to be associated to a uh, or next to another current resource. Does it actually bring anything in? I don't think so. I think they might actually... Um, they might actually help when it's luxuries, but I'm not certain. So if we're going to go industrial through here, which we will, and po probably agricultural down this way, I'm going to say probably this building is going to be up here somewhere. And I don't know what that resource is, but I'm going to guess it's probably related to... Um, to a military, a strategic resource that'll have some sort of industrial effect. So maybe we'll put it over here. Now, we don't have to keep it in that sequence. It jumps to the top of the sequence. We don't have to keep it in that sequence, and I don't want to. But I didn't want to place it before. I, I did want to place it before I did anything else. These canals, we can place multiples or no? Already one copy of the, in the territory. So we can build them over here if we wanted to. That's an option. Okay. We could expand down this way. That would probably be nice. At some point. Let's go here and then surround it by farms. And again, that doesn't have to be next thing to build, but... Oh, there's science here. Two science for having this uh, copper in the area. I like that. Alright. Um, I do want to be able to build the horses. So as soon as this horse... Uh, ranch is online. Actually, we can pay the 61 bucks that we have, so let's do that. Boom. We have that horse ranch online. I'm going to add a scout rider, and I'm going to bump him right to the front of the line. I want to get some mobility going so he can go around and, like, place down some new territory for us. You got back from your birthday vacation. Where'd you go, Quirk? Carpentry research. Finished. So, uh, clearing forest is now an option, but the lumber yard in, in a city would allow all um, industry and woodlands to produce more, which is awesome. And then we have the archers. Phoenicians are famed for their good ships and smart traders. Best to watch your coastlines and your coffers. And there they are, Biblos down here. Okay, that's great news. That's three other factions on our continent, and they're all south. So we're going to have to move rapidly to the west. I want uh, the Tongas forest here, and I want to move west to the Sun Sundarbans as well. So when this guy is finished making his horsey man, we can actually buy him out right now. Great. Let's get him moving. Oh, next turn we can get him moving. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Cavalry unit is ready. Research is available. Um, I kind of want to go with city defense, but irrigation is also a good option. Masonry for stoneworks. Writing would increase uh, would food markets. House of scribes. Hmm. Increase our science. The wheel would allow connections of roads between things, so let's... Hmm, that's 12 turns. 
Let's go to city defense. It's cheap and easy to do, so let's do it now. All right, this guy is going to run through here, I think. Uh, maybe down through here. We're going to lose... No, we're going away from him so we don't get stuck by... Uh, don't lose too much mobility to him. Let's run down through here. Not everything worth appreciating was forged by human hands. Excellent. The Great Barrier Reef has been discovered. Lovely. All right, so we just got a fame boost from that. Because we were the first to discover it, I believe. Oh, no, we gained 30 knowledge. Lovely. Did that just finish our research? It certainly almost did. 35 knowledge for that. So we got a, we got a happy boost there. Lovely. Uh, city defense and then bronze working, I think, is going to be our, our next one. So go ahead and apply the surplus there. Wonderful. Now, this should have some sort of effect, I think, if you build near it, but I'm not... Don't quote me on that. I'm not certain. I have a hunch that it does, but I don't know for sure. Now this guy, do we want him to go down here? Whereas he goes down south and around? Probably. Let's go down and hop on this river. We can take the river down the rest of the way. I'd like this movement to be sped up. It's unfortunate, but it's not. Uh... Unless there's a way to do that on screen here. No. Oh, wait. The game will end when one of the following conditions is reached. Hmm. Uh, that's the difficulty and all the various stuff. Oh, we could use, we could use the Holocene or the Gregarian calendar. Lovely. I don't know the Holocene calendar, but that's not that's not what I was hoping for. All right, I was hoping there was an option to change the movement speed, which there doesn't seem to be. Bum, 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 bum. All right, this is a rider of Bordica, the Phoenician. That somehow makes sense. Let's go here. Uh, okay, that is a hostile independent. That's lovely. We'll leave them alone, for sure. Because they're, you know, messed up, buried down with our friends, so that's awesome. So, cities participating in construction. We could have all the city, other cities help build this thing. It's kind of like a wonder build as well. Wonders work the same way. Aristar for the Agrarian unlocked. Wonderful. That's our first Aristar. So the notice how these numbers are now no longer like nicely rounded numbers because the more people that get it, the less fame it is, it's worth for getting it. Pretty awesome system. City defense research. Palisades, our first level of walls for the city, which is definitely worth getting early on. Scientist star earned, also excellent. All right, I'm gonna come all the way wherever we can here. Get this guy's. I got spectacular mobility apparently. I guess he slows down on the rivers. Seems a little weird, but okay. Uh, research finished on. Bro no, it's working on bronze working now. Okay, and then we'll go to the wheel after that. I think. We have a Something message to again. Something make our affairs more civil. A Phoenician. That is interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting. Primarily because the Phoenicians are way in the back end. Uh, I'm going to counter it, though. He refused. The proposal. Maybe next time. We'll talk again, I'm sure. I could also talk to her about doing that, but uh, this is... belongs to the Hurrians. Let's see if we can get some info about who these Hurrians are. A curiosity shrine worth 15 science and 10 uh, influence. That's awesome. Okay, I like that. Uh -huh. You want to give me some more details as well? Follow me. Off we go. An unknown resource. New notification. Discovered the breathtaking forest. Ah. Berhovisa. I don't know how you say that, but... I'm just going to butcher it and pretend that made sense. 
She refused her treaty. Oh, sad. Sad day. A little early for uh, fussing with those treaties. For me. Somebody's supposed to finish their job, their movements. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's keep exploring the void here. A lot of exploration early on in this thing. Right, these guys are dealing with... Those are the peaceful dudes. Uh, Fulu has been expanded here now for the Assyrians. So this is probably them setting up a second city because it's disconnected. It costs a little more to set up, but then it also costs a bunch of uh, fame Over to build as a... Uh, as a faction... or as a... to make into an actual city. Now these guys, am I able to interact with you guys at all? Um... No, I don't think I can yet. On both factors, we're basically totally distressed with it. I'd love to get their favor. Ah, the new uh, territory, the new, uh, newest of our two territories, has converted to the faith. That's lovely. And we're actually almost, we're 50% conversion on the uh, Assyrians. So they're getting gobbled up by our faith as well. And we've spread some pressure over this way too. And once we get that wonder, or that uh, building built, We'll also put a lot of influence that way as well. So that should help actually long term with things. Yes. Up to the city or to the administrative center, please. Um, let's see about getting this tile in here locked down. Oh, they've added that one into their city already. I want to go like this way. Kind of as quickly as we can. Hop in on the river here if we can get there. This proposal respects your people and mine. Uh, sort of. I'm, you must enrich the I'm not a big fan of the Assyrians being friendly with them because that's just asking to block us in. In a way, I don't think we want to. Certainly not unless it's necessary. Speak of the devils. Yes. Got porcelain down here. Stability and money. Uh, a carcass. Curiosity worth 40 gold. Okay. Not bad. Not, not, it ain't nothing, honey. Uh, we're gonna pop, uh, around... Uh, blah, blah, blah. This way. This fine fellow is going to do the run down there. Good. I was hoping he'd be able to see whether the shore ended there or not. Oh, that's... I forgot that was already explored. Darn it. All right. Nice. A shrine. 40 influence and 15 science. Exploring is awesome. Uh, bronze working is three turns from completion. Let's look at the city here. Harappa. Uh, what are you working on? You're working on your farm district. Okay. Hmm... There's so much we need to do, so I think we probably need to get some work done on um, on more productivity very soon. Perhaps rolling through here is going to be useful. Hmm. So if you look here, there's like a capacity. We got three of the total three capacity we can do for our industry right now. Uh, if we wanted to increase our growth, which is currently happening right now, uh, 6 of 13, so plus 1 in one turn. They're about to grow. Uh, if we put this over here, we could have 4 of 4 people going. We'd be making more uh, population to grow faster. Now, at some point, that's going to start hitting our stability, right? Uh, number of attached territories reduces stability. Population might not. But our total population cap is... Survey says, I don't know. Gotta be around here somewhere. We have horses here, guys. We have horses. Yay. There it is. 13. Population cap is 13 in the city. Now, if I were to go make a horse unit, I would notice the minus one to the pop. It would cost us units to make these. So I, I definitely want to get the... 
the population growing, plus having more population means more industry and science and money. So I think the early growing is, you know, majoring on our on our particular talents, i.e. the Arapan uh, affinity for food production should help nicely. All right, you're gonna have to come around to that river. You're gonna keep scooting down. You're gonna grab that whatever, 20 gold, and then you'll probably, mm, I think at this point, this guy's gonna head up and this guy's gonna come over here and join here. his friend over here. So Sus over here is now a city. There we go, now we can interact with them. All right, let's see about treaties. Establish contact. Sus is 47. Established diplomatic, this is different than it used to be. Uh, established diplomatic correspondence with the leader of this independent people, allowing you to access um, patronage and use praise and bribe actions. Lovely. 47 influence? Sure. You've signed your first treaty with an independent people. One more step on the road to cooperation. All right, so I have the option to... Uh... Uh, resource and trade cannot be done as you don't have sufficient relations levels with the independent people to trade res to trade resources cannot be done at the independent as the independent people has no exploited resource so they do have access to salt in their territory um, but uh, nothing we can do about that yet because they haven't tapped it they will uh, patronage okay percentage share of total patronage from all empires. Okay, so if the Assyrians start patronizing them, um, then we get, you know, they will, it'll be basically uh, um, a competition. Okay. This is good because liberty and is one that I want to go to. Collectivism, probably not, but I don't remember how they play out in the in the game. I'm an actual individualist myself in the real world, but, um, you know, individualism and liberty are the two I prefer in real life, but collectivism might have uh, positive stuff in the game that we can use. Trading charter? Hmm. Mercenary charter and science collaboration. Hmm. That's good. Gain a share of this independent people's science per turn. 16 science. Well, if we got that, that would be huge. Huh. I think we go ahead and spend the three bucks a day that we're making. And maybe even to influence and see what we can get of these guys. Oh, what? Okay. See how that, do see how that works. Haven't messed with it, but we'll go all in on this one, see what we can do. This is an entirely new system since the last time I played forever ago, so... <clears throat> I want to build an outpost uh, in here. I'm going to step into the territory so we get the option to figure out what possible... Night oh my gosh, 25 and 7. That's huge! But where would we put one in here? Probably along the river as well, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally, yeah. We go right up there. Left click. Boom. That's the purpose here. That's the focus here. Oh, did I do the, the thing that sets the... Yeah, it is. Just not the military. All right, combat strength on unit. Uh, I should have done this one before, and I'm going to do it now. It does seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Mm-hmm. So right now the Assyrians have more influence here. Well, that's interesting. That territory is was not set up by them. I think Zhao set that up. Hmm. The Elamites down here and the Phoenicians. Do we have any other Hurrians? That is uh That is an faction that we've not looked at yet. They um, independent. Let's walk around here so we don't get ourselves unnecessarily bogged down. Yeah, this is an end of another independent group.
Listen, dudes, you're really cramping my style here. Ah. Okay. Can you run up the valley here? Probably gonna head close to home. Hey, look at that. We got 10 more science added bronze working. Wonderful. That allows us to access the copper. Good, good, good. Also putting a forge in uh, the city. Mm, boost due to industry. Boost from industry in copper, which is great. And a watchtower. Standing tall over the city, watchtowers not only increase vision, but also allow nearby soldiers to do, to be better coordinated. Hmm. Vision uh, range on garrison and vision range for the main plaza. And the spearman, the anti-cavalry wonder. Excellent. Good news. Uh, we'll definitely want to uh, science some more. I think we're probably going to find a, a coastline here. That'll probably end up turning us back. Yeah. So we've basically explored the southern, southeast side and east side of this continent. These are probably islands, not other continents over there. Same as down here. Oh, look at that. We can maybe find something new and more money. Lovely, 110 bucks. So that's like 11, 12 turns worth of uh, bribery taken care of right there. So, all right, let's join these guys up. It'll be safer for their trip home. Check our new science. Things are starting to happen now, guys. Food on river from irrigation. Yeah, that's a good idea. If we get flood irrigation. Um, oh, that's an event. That's a... What's it called? Um, you know, the thing and stuff. Um, oh, I can't remember. Public works, that sort of thing. Fisheries, all those that have the level, level one and so on, that's what those are. Okay. Now, what do we want? Uh, barracks, that's the iron. Oh, yes. Oh, unit reinforcement. Yeah, I want organized warfare. That's a big, big deal when you get into battles. Speaking of battles, we got our horses fighting a bear. Um, did he settle this, set up this place? Don't know. Hold on. Close that for a minute. Are we able to see what's going on with that? It is an outpost there. Okay. If I... Uh, that is two bears. I'm going to retreat for sure. Ah, oh, you went the wrong way, dude. I want you to travel left, west. Hopefully he doesn't ransack our village. I don't know if the bears go after your settlements that are establishing, but... Man, his mobility helped him run for the hills, but he went the wrong bloody hills. A game of prophecy. Ah, okay, so this is uh, basically uh, more of the soothsaying stuff that's happening. And, um... Uh, gasps could be gasps could be heard as the game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What do you do? Do you heed it and get uh, reduced science for ten turns, but move the progression towards um, back towards the tradition? Overlook, and we can move. Uh, we can get minus five st stability. Pardon me uh, for ten turns, and move towards in uh, liberty. Or we can move towards uh, authority, and we would spend money for that. No, I think we'll overlook it. Uh, the stability hit is 5. It's not a big deal. Our stability is at 95 instead of of 100. So that's fine. Uh, what are we working on right now? We are working on the obelisk with 12 turns to go. All right. This is a copper mine I need to put in right away. So let's move the copper mine to the top. Oh, my goodness. 20 turns to make that. Good bloody goodness. Okay, not a, not a good idea. That's too much, too quick. Wait, wait, wait why is everybody so cranky? Why is, every, why is everything taking so long? Hold on a second. Uh... Something's wrong here. It says six turns, but it says 26 turns up here. Oh, no, that's the sequence. 
<laughs> Oops, six turns plus whatever this one is, plus whatever this one is, plus whatever this one is. Ha! <laughs> Alright then, I was reading it wrong. Gotcha. So six and twelve, so that's eighteen, and then this one is another twenty. Okay, that's the how often, how long it'll take. Got it. Understood now. So this is actually only two turns to get the copper mine in place. And then we can put the industrial building in, and then we can put the this guy in, and then we'll do the expansion for the faith thing. I think our faith seems to be doing okay so far. Maybe. Uh, we could also do these. That'd be a major food booster as is. Right now we have uh, six per farmer. What's our total positive food? Looks like the total positive is is this number, 41. So yeah, we're really cranking out the populations quickly. Grow, grow, grow. That's what you're here to do, people. Do it max fastness. 47 or 41? 47. Uh, city growth should be the priority, so it really doesn't... Not as aggressive as I am, I guess. That's fine. I'll do that. It'll take an extra turn to finish the copper mine, but totally okay with that. Because he'll grow before that happens. All right, let's go down and meet the neighbors. Come over here. You guys are going to come around uh, nowhere, really. We didn't meet the neighbors. I was hoping we did. Uh -huh. Well, there's more and more units going up. Ah, he's expanding even further. Okay, he's now... No, this is your first city still, eh? Mm-hmm. The Zhao. How are we doing with friends here? 22% in the trusting ca category. Uh, we are the only ones that have attributed patronage to this, guys. Okay, so what's going to happen is we'll get a bit of it in there, and then the Assyrians will be like, we don't want that anymore, and then they'll attack. That's probably what's going to happen. But anyways, uh, to get this treaty, what is it saying we need to have access to? There's 15%, 30 and 60%. So, oh, 20 patronage should get us to 15%. Is that how that works? Seems like it. And maybe these bars are important too? Oh, you know what? I think it's... I think that's the trust factor. So they have to get tolerance in order to do these, I'm guessing. Maybe not. Doesn't say specifically, does it? Doesn't show what these lines mean. Maybe I can only do one of these? I'm not sure. Select an available treaty to have an independent people sign it, provided you have a large enough share of total patronage. Ah, that's the percentage share. So I think that's a hard cap and percentage. So I have to have at least 15% of the total, and I have to have had 20. Right now I've got 100%, but only 4 Ah, okay, now that makes visual sense. You can sign only one treaty per group at the same time. So it's either trade or mercenaries or science. Okay, and then culture, privileged contact, mercenary rent cost, resource trade cost, profit sharing, straight up cash bonus, influence, plus one influence of your ideological position on their doctrine access per turn. Oh, called, oh, so we, this independent will progressively change their ideology to match yours. If other empires with competitive ideologies sign the same treaty, independent people will find a comp compromise in between all influences. Oh, that's cool. That's a really cool mechanic. Much better than the old system for this. Uh, client state or assimilate. So the, as a client state, what does that do? Independent people provides you with a share of their science, their influence, and their money income for each turn and become politically aligned with you. They will not enter the state, uh, enter a state of decline while they are a client state. So they basically age out these groups and they'll eventually just dissolve on their own to nothingness. Um, plus 50% internal, international sway on major empire. Okay. Um, plus one influence the ideology position of their doctrine access per turn. So they, again, move towards our whatever. Plus we get influence and money and mercenary rental costs down, resource trade costs down, and 16 science. So we get basically all the good parts if we go client state. Or we assimilate them. 
Uh, manipulate this independent people's politics so that they gain you gain full control of their cities and armies. Basically, they become a city in our empire. Cool function. I like this new system. Much, much nicer. Okay, another turn to finish that. Uh, this guy needs to head back towards his uh, intended goal. So let's not get stuck playing with bears anymore, okay, dude? Yeah, busy work to be doing. One more turn for the copper mine. We'll actually buy that out to save the turn with 60 bucks. Excellent. So now we have the, the copper. Ah, so good. So, so good. Uh, if we put this in, that's going right in here. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't see what it's going to do. Um, yeah, I don't get to see what it's going to do quite the same way as before. This doesn't seem as industrious as I was hoping it would be around here, but... We'll see. Maybe we'll get some. We'll get the forest re in, forest industrialization going down here. That'll be helpful. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I do love the walls, and I hate not having them. So, because happy is he whose walls already rise. So, see these little um these little things here. These little fences. They have to siege out this city, and the districts around, connected to our capital, get a wall around them, and we actually have our troops inside here defending behind a wall that they have a hard time breaching. That's the sort of uh, function there. So it's really, really harsh uh, to try to take out a place at this stage that has that. Um, I'm going to, three turns to put one out. We could put out a scout, but we have the guys in the far distant lands that could head their way back. Uh, not a bad idea. This guy's gonna hit the river. And probably he'll run the river up to homelands here. Let's head over to, um, whatever zone this is. Somewhere up here. Ah, they have already connected the dyes to the, uh, to the Chinese, the Ho Jing. Zhao. Off we go. Well, that is quite the steep mountain range there. That would be useful for them. Let's go. Right. Zhao and the Assyrians and the Phoenicians. No doubt this independent people possess sophisticated ah. customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to treat them well. Uh, this is the Urks. The Urians. Uh, they have a trust, a positive trust for us because of our alignment. Uh, however, they are an aggressive people. That link in contact with them all the way out here is probably not going to be valuable for us. We're just going to kind of try to stay out of their way after I run by and grab that, snipe that stuff from them if we can. Or we'll get attacked immediately. World Deed, Lake Bacale, Bacale has been found. Lovely. New grievance available. Greetings. My door is oh. always open to talk. So, don't attack my troops. You have but one chance Bad. to save your stinking skin. Curse you and your empire both. <laughs> okay. They want me to give Sansuna. Where is Sansuna? That would be this. Yeah, that'd be this place that I just settled. They're like, you can't possibly expand. We wanted to expand and engulf the whole world. Go away. Well, you can go away, crazy lady. I don't agree. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. That's terrain blocking. All right, let's head up this way then. As long as we don't run into those bears again. There they are. Uh oh. Don't chase me down, bears. Uh, I do want to settle further up here. They're definitely going to have uh, some conflicts here, like this one. So we can look here and see if we want to actually battle this out. Um, well, what, is, what does he have for troops? Or she? It's the scout. We have a slight military advantage there. Is this elevation to our advantage here? I don't. I can't quite tell. I don't think so. I think from here it would be an elevation advantage, but not from there. 
So I'll be standing in a forest defensively. Or I can just hit retreat. And I think I'll just hit retreat. There's no... That conflict is not... Winning that conflict doesn't do much of anything for me. Certainly not any more than taking this person and going for a run would do. Uh, okay. That's where their dude ended up. Well, we'll just keep uh, trucking right on past these fellows. Doesn't seem to be an issue. Oh, look at you. Look at you blocking my road, man. Make me climb up through the forested hills. That's very rude of you. you guy's going to continue on his journey. Now, you have some issues. So, um, we have now this concept of the crisis. So, there's been a political crisis between our two peoples. Um, their war support has climbed because of us taking this territory. Now, we could accept their demands or we could refuse them. If we refuse the demands, they gain 10 war support. Well, why would we do that? Well, because if we refuse the demands, they have to make that demand again and push their, the politics again before they can use that as a war goal and a claim in a, in a war. You can't claim the, the territory if you haven't already demanded it. So, we could withdraw this and get we would get some more war support, but no, we're going to leave the demand out there, so hopefully she'll consider um, changing her mind. Now, she has the luxury of dye, which would increase uh, industry and stability if we got that. Uh, I'm going to leave that as is, though. I'm going to be perfectly fine to ignore the rest of them. We welcome this opportunity for dialogue. So the Assyrians, not that interested about in connection with you. Ah, the Assyrians are exp expansionists, so they can trespass in our lands, but we can't trespass in theirs without causing grief. That's not cool. Let's talk How do you to do, the Phoenicians. Whoever you are. Bodica of the Phoenicians, because that's kind of cool. She's cool-headed, militaristic. Avenger bias retaliates until extermination of the aggressor. Hmm. Kind of like this. All right, let us consider uh, luxuries trades. Hail, friend. Excellent. I have a notion which would benefit us both. She has accepted the idea of <laughs> yes, luxuries very trades. Good. This I like. Wonderful. So I'm going to try to be boost relations with them because A, they're on the back side of the map, of the south side of the continent to us, and B, hopefully there'll be a decent counter and we could possibly get some trade working between us. I like it anyways. It's a, it's a half-brain theory perhaps, but uh, we gain more population in a very new spot, and there they are, the bears are attacking again. Darn it. And we would be downhill, we're definitely going to retreat on this one. Unfortunately, these bears are being quite a menace. They're slowing down our progression in a major way. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, this to the list, and we're going to put it up top. I need those horses. Another couple, you know, half dozen turns will be able to with the ice get things going. Behavior warrants. Uh, why are you talking to me again? Oh, because that was an event. Well, I don't, uh, I'm not accepting or demand or refusing your demand. Do I have to? Um. Um. Your demands have been refused. What is your answer to the outrage? Wait, what? Oh, I can't, I can't, uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Well, obviously, I'm I not going I can to... suppose I wave this one. Go I'm going to refuse way. her demand. Your proposal is too much of a ball and chain on my ambitions. You seem to have no interest in the well-being of this friendship. Demand received. Okay. Attitude has degraded. They're now aggressive towards us. Not a fan of that. Um, wait, did they just declare war on me? Yep, they just declared war on us. All right, then. That's awkward. Because they didn't, yeah. We're declared by the queen. All right. Now, uh, war resolution. How does this work? I forget how this works.
plus 15 instant. So they're going to slowly lose war support because they're the aggressor. Gotcha. All right, well, we obviously need some, some troops and such. A couple horses would be fine, but I think I also want an archer unit out here, but we'll see. We do have some stacks of scouts. I don't know how much military she's going to have at this stage, but... Probably as much or more than I do. independent people. And who are they? What? Time will tell if they are helpful, Where's helpless, the new independent people? or history. I see not a new independent people. I see the ones I already knew. What are you rambling on about, man? You're as bad as me. Uh, well, we could actually sack some ground here, but let's see. I think it'll be better off if we bring this guy back and, uh... Head through, like, here. Ah, look at you. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's the independence people. Right? Um, no, that's not another border of independence. It's the same ones. Okay. Now, this guy was the one ride running home. I'm not sure I want to do that anymore, but maybe... Me. We'll hug the border here a little more. Oh, look at that. We got some money on the way. This is also a scout. Okay. Now, this guy's down near Biblos, so I'm going to bring him trucking north as well. But northwest. Oh, that's quite the wall. Look at that. You can't cross that line wall from there all the way to here. Quite the terrain uh, feature they've got there. Okay. The terrain maps makes such a difference in this game. We've been going nowhere. Shall we try forward? I agree. Coming from you, a non-aggression treaty with the Phoenicians? Throat, but I am forced to accept. Matt. No, it doesn't, dude. It's perfectly exactly what we wanted to have happen. He's got to catch up, man. He's got to catch up. Oh, here it comes. Oh, my God. Well, uh, about that, them having an army. Uh, they have an army. They have two warriors, an archer, and a scout rider. Run away! <laughs> oh, and this has become a village or a city? This has become an assimilated uh, province. Now, if they catch me again in that turn and interact, try to fight again, then they get, the, then they get to trap me. So I do not want this guy to go... Um, exploring into their lands. Same as this guy. He can head down this way. They'll try to kind of group up down here somewhere. Follow me. Like there is fine. Got it. Okay. That's a little scary. Now he's got the horse. All right. How are we doing for another scout rider? It's sort of happening. Two more turns for another scout rider. Do we put a wall in at that point, or do we depend on the military in the field? Since he has the t the tactical advantage on the field, I'm a little concerned about that. Sixty influence would attach this place to us, uh, affecting the stability of the city. Uh, but would it give us much more? I don't know. It would give us food and productivity. Hmm. You're going to probably end up coming back home. Yeah, this is not ideal at all. It's all badness happened here. All of a sudden. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Should we attach this or not? If this guy can actually come off this way, continue up here and group that thing in, we could get some productivity from there. See if uh, these fine units can... Ah! Didn't move him fast enough, and I can't retreat. 
He didn't retreat this turn. That was last turn, dudes. All right, instant resolution. He's dead. He's 100% dead. There's no chance of that. Well, our uh, the battle didn't turn well for them, but for us, 12% damage. That was one scout against a four-man army. So, oops, my bad. I'm on it. We'll go over here. This guy will unit up with those. And they'll move along uh, together to head up this way afterwards. Head up this way. Okay. Hmm. With almost no uh, military prowess here, we have problems. Um, I can bring you, like, part of the way back to join up the new units that are produced. I have no idea what his sort of military capacity is going to be. His production capacity. Or her production capacity, I guess. Going to be here, so... Really can't say whether it's a... What, what sort of situation this war is going to cause. Uh, we have the religious rights unlocks action procession spend money to increase uh, in order to increase stability in a city okay minus 30 percent religious district industry cost hmm hmm I like this idea. I suppose there are some things that are best done alone. Okay, we are actually doing okay on the culture. The religion is pushing in their direction. Oh, they have uh, polytheism as well of their own. So they will compete, even though they're both polytheistic. Oh, it looks like the uh, Assyrians are shamanists now. The growing faithful. The Empire's religion grows more and more followers coming into the faith every day. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests, while others guide their own worship. It's time to give blessing to one of these means. I believe that's the one we just did. Yeah. That was an already pop-up. That was a pop-up for an old detail. Well, let's uh, scroll our way through here. That is one of her units. Uh, I can pop up here, though. Hmm. So this is an aggressive unit. Two spearmen there. Curiosity was probably worth getting. All right, new horsemen available in Harapa. Um, okay, I definitely want to get a Spearman unit, and, uh, hmm. I want to get a Spearman unit, and a bow. Against what he's got, I would say a couple spearmen and a couple archers would be a good choice, actually. I am going to make them have to happen first, though. Because if they roll that army in on us, we're in more than a little bit of trouble. Hmm. Said you were able to make the distance, but I guess not. Um, we have to have a research, te research of technology to unlock that. However, we do have one technology that will allow us to... Um, ooh, flooded lands. Um, we've got a technology that will allow us to uh, cooperate, so we can have units, two sets of armies, coordinate together, which can actually make a huge difference. Um, since we know that it is right along their, their t city center line there, we'll go down and around. All right. 
An unrelated, uh, unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of Harappa and the surrounding lands. If this rain doesn't stop soon, the banks of the great river... Oh. The thread through the city will burst, flooding in the adjacent quarters. With limited time and resources, the choices are stark. What do you do? 120 bucks, which we can't do. Well, we sort of can do. I guess we can do? Maybe, yeah. Um, that leads us towards, uh, uh, progress. Adapting leads us towards collectivism. Chance of bad consequence, chance of good consequence, chance of terrible consequence. Let's go with protect. Proper flood control, man. It's important. Uh, we're gonna bring... We're gonna head up here. Try to get these zones up here selected. Uh, and I think we might go down this way for that. Let's go. The movement is so slow, I wish it was faster. Really, it's kind of annoyingly slow. Um, let's go here. Then you'll move on a little further later. This fine fellow is actually in the right region as well now. 19 and 14 for a unit right there. Good. Bankruptcy. There's no money. Uh, and the city's losing stability. Yeah, I know. Um, we're minus 19. That's not good. That's because we're spending money every day on these guys. So we're going to pull back on this. To allow ourselves to have an income again. We're at 18, though. One more turn would give us the 20 we need to add that treaty, or we can wait two turns for it. We'll wait two turns for it. Okay, these guys are gonna have to come around. Oh, hello. I will definitely battle this guy. So we have to claim that spot uh, in order to win the, the battle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around here. He's on a river in forest and he's defending. That's fine. We're above him in both cases here. We should get a substantial advantage to the damage. And I will, well, we can get in there and finish him off. That was easy. Excellent. Unfortunately, our units do not heal when wandering around the world, as far as I understand. Um, I don't think so. I don't think they do. If I remember correctly, we do not heal just standing out in the world. Alright, that space is claimed. I really wanted space over here. I mean, we may end up fighting for it, legitimately fighting for it. This is a coastal tile is not that important for me. Guy is on his way to continue his motion. The target is for him to take this. If I assign this to the city, I kind of really want to. Let's put this part of the city. There's our next expansion star. Good. Yeah, I know we've got some cash issues. I apologize, world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Move towards here. How's the war situation going, friend? Sovereign, I will not sugarcoat it. I am furious with you. I'm sure you are. Uh, my war score 108. Their war score is 150. Uh, okay. Plus 10 from one demand. Their war score is 150, 108, but their war support. Um, enemy units eliminated will boost it to this turn. And they're losing three. Ongoing through losing three, and they're losing two from losing those two units. Okay. Or that you one unit. Alright. 
Interesting mechanism. Do something clever today. Trade Sign this everything. Treaty. So I will this, consider it. This no would promises. allow her to have access to um, the resources that are strategic resources. So iron and copper and, and horses and so on. I'm going to go ahead and counter this one. Try to get a little extra cash out of it. You must enrich the offer. Mm, she didn't like that. No, not except. All right. Well, we'll talk about it again another time. Organized warfare researched. Excellent. So now if we've got two units or two armies, we can have them coordinate together and get things done. There we go. Saclantina, Lantini, Saclantini, whatever that is, is uh, starting. Good. Now, it costs more and more to add these, and the stability of the city gets punished pretty heavily by having uh, more um, attached districts. We're, we have um, 40 negative points to our stability because of the attached districts. So, hey, Bill, how's it going? This is Humankind. It's about a year and a half old. It's been available on Steam, been for a while. And uh, really great uh, play on the on the genre. I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, it is a fairly deep, different sort of mix of a game than than most uh, city builders, but or most Civ-like games, but I'm going to bring these guys back, and if we're going to fight, we're going to do it right. We're going to bring them all back here, and we're going to build ourselves enough of an army we can have two of them, and then we can go kick their butts. All right, so we built that. Now, if I bring units back here, I mean, they're not... They're not nothing in battle, but they're not great. Uh, you can just go ahead and wait your turn. Rapa's building a spearman there. I'd like to have two bowmen... Probably two bowmen, a spearman, and, uh, and a horse, I would think. Per, uh, per unit and have two of those armies that would be pretty potent uh, we could also build more you know canals and stuff to improve things which is really ugh, such a such a slowdown oh yeah greener pastures two population from the Syrians oh yes that's right they have six population we'd suck two of them out of them right away to and that's gonna... Wow. Our city can actually cap at 18 now instead of the 13 because we added on that other, that other territory. Right. I forgot all about that. Okay. I think uh, Sundar... Sundarbans there is going to probably um, be a spot that I want to set a city up. Not just an outpost. A second city. Mm-hmm. All right. We can afford greener pastures to get repopulation. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Strained, really. City's population is becoming agitated. Positive and negative events are equally likely to occur in the city. Uh, state will remain as long as the city stability stays between 30 and 90 percent. So the goal is to keep it above 90 percent, and it's on its way down to 62 now. Ah, yes, minus three stability from the consecutive debt. That's unfortunate. Uh, the districts were losing. 20 from the current districts we've got 40 from the number of territories attached capital means this gives us 50 um ideologies empire bonus is plus 25 stability so we need things that are going to boost stability that would be helpful i don't know what we have to do that um Hmm. Interesting. The barracks. It's just a. It's just a repeatable. Um. No, it's not a repeatable. It's a piece of infrastructure. Oh, I see. 
They have levels as well, do they? Okay. It's not a ceremony that I was thinking of before. Hmm. Okay. We need more of everything, basically. All the things we need to do more of, but the growth is working quite nicely. Four turns to irrigation. Bring this guy back here, and we can uh, station you there. Keeping an eye out. Okay, and the other units we have. Got three dudes hanging out here. They're going to come around and head up that way as well. Off we go. I'm not sure if he's if she's going to be moving units. Oh, look at that! Did we just get it? Yeah, we got a second city up here. Okay. He's moved aggressively up that direction. Not a fan, lady. Not a fan. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. All right. I think the uh, the deal is we got to just keep building the uh, required units. Okay, I can stay stationed there. Blooded lands, lucky. You know, it's very is a little wetter, and people will not forget. But otherwise, life is normal again. Nice. Didn't have a terrible thing happen. That's good. That's good news. All right, a spear and a bow. Need another uh, set of units there for sure. Four turns for that maker's quarters, which will give us a couple extra points of industry. That's it, eh? industry if I build there? Holy moly. Okay. Swap those out. Six turns to get 13 industry instead of what we were doing. Alright. Uh, let's bring you up here. I think she's probably just going to... Greetings. My door is always open to talk. Uh... They're condescending. All a different religion. We are at war with their enemy. That's good. They aired grievances against us. Wow, you want that city too? No. Despite your good intentions, and we're now at so war. Little. Oh my goodness! Seriously, give me your free lands, or I kill you. That's what they both said, and they're both trying to carry through on it too. All right. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> that's really, really weird. That's a that's a very, very uh, sought after bunch of land. Like that is one seriously epic lake, I guess. I I'm not sure what that's all about, but dang, there's not like wonders or even a resource or anything there. It's just super important to everybody, apparently. All right. Well, um, so we now have two wars over it. Mm-hmm. I will try to keep this civil, but that may be impossible. Her war support is depleting at three per turn. Um. Propose a white, white peace. Suppose that both sides return to peace without any victor being declared. Any outstanding demands will be abandoned. Uh, the portion of the current war score will be remembered for future conflicts. Interesting. Huh. I should give Sansuna to one and the other one would turn around and fight him. And then I can come back and take it from the victor. <laughs> maybe that's not how that works, but I thought it, thought maybe it should. Should be that way. Over 
Alright, we definitely need more production of units in the capital. Man, uh... What's it gonna do as far as productivity if I add another unit here? Oh, I can't even put another builder there. Six turns to finish. Maker's Quarters. Which would give a fairly substantial boost to our, sci our research. I get 25% increase to our research, but that's six turns, which is enough to build two full units. I don't think I have time to wait six turns. Like, I'm very certain I don't. Let's go with this again. And hope that we don't get ourselves dead. Um, oh, civil, civic backlash. What? What is this? Uh, exchanges between the people of this city and the neighbors of the Assyrians has led to our population to demand change concerning independent peoples. Oh. Civic backlash. So the cultural push between the two has influenced our people to demand that we switch. How does it, what does that do if we don't? Stability minus 50 stability for 10 turns. Okay. All right, they just, we well, just switched that then, okay. That's unfortunate. A forced civic, foreign influence, pushes our culture to change. That's unfortunate. Uh, the Assyrians withdraw their demand. Wait, what? You just withdrew the demand? And, but you're already at war, what? Wait, what? No, you're not at war anymore, what? That was a... Mm, I'm a little concerned. They are... We are at peace. Uh, so they withdrew the demand. I am so confused what just happened there. No, no peace treaty, just... They just straight up withdrew the demand. Hmm. That's a little weird. Seems a little weird anyways. Oh, what the heck? Um... I have a 29% hold on this place? Why? Um... It's supposed to... Oh, there it is. Well, that's unfortunate. Bet you that means we're gonna lose that territory. Wait, he just no. This is influence seventy percent is, and so what does that do to us? I don't recall if that does anything or what that does to us. Huh? This is part of my city. really not sure where that's going to take us, but anyways, we're going to bring this uh, lovely scout army up here. We need, yeah, there it is. They just took that spot, and I wanted that one. Hmm, I really wanted that one. Well, let's uh, see what we can do about that. Definitely need to see what we can do about that. Got a little bit of time to progress to get these new troops. Uh, new Aristar, what was that for? Oh. Our influence hit 600. Gaining us a boost here. 
There are three factions already in the next, uh, finished the fame for this era. Oh. Well. <laughs> I feel like I'm not winning here, guys. I feel like I'm not winning. Madeline, hello. Welcome. I don't feel like, I don't just feel like I'm not winning here. I'm most definitively not winning here. Pop increase, irrigation research finished. Good. Another science star finished. Lovely. Terra Incognita has been locked by another empire. Osmosis event. Your civilization benefits from proximity to others. Well, what is it? Okay, cool, but I don't know what happened. The people have converted to Harappan polytheism. Yay! So, this new place plus over here. Cool. And it's expanding. He doesn't have a functional uh, faith growth. At all. And we got a battle going on. Hmm. Who's this and what's going on? Who's its what's its galore? Uh, what's happening here, man? Um, this is... The Assyrians. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this battle, because they do have the tactical advantage and the positional advantage to an extent there. That's not how I wanted that to work out at all. And he's got more units. My god, they just pump out units. It's ridiculous. New grievance is available. Mm-hmm. All right. That is an absurdly fast hit of, uh, of items. They're producing at least as fast as I am, plus they're expanding and building. A little, seems a little, um, not sure if it's particularly honest. Uh, spend 60 bucks, if I had it, and get 10 industry, or plus 10 industry per turn. That would be pretty potent. Or we could add a bit of money which we don't have to spend on the other one, so, and we reduce our science a little bit. Well, I guess we're going to have to muster that. That's unfortunate. Oh, I actually wanted this to here. Oop. Now that's a little, a little bit more realistic of a uh, defense structure there. So you now also want two more bowmen after this. And then you'll have a decently functional military. I think we'll go up this way with this guy. Put some claims down on that land. Not bad, not bad. Do something uh, clever today. Uh, Sign this treaty. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to accept that because... Oh, animosity is real. But I must accept for the good of my empire. She's hesitant. We but... have to do this again. <laughs> um, sign a new treaty. Our borders are closed to them. Yeah. Um, her bias. Avenger. Warlord. Emblematic units are stronger. Crusader. Combat. Strength on units. Territories influenced by other religions. Okay, but where is her alignment? Does it, is there a way for us to tell their alignment? Their political alignment? Hmm. Got four stars. She's a commercial personage. Okay. Maybe not. Let's check out the science information. All right. So um, at this point, I think I want the wheel. Nine turns, but it'll get faster once that uh, oops changes. Ah, oh. this is absurd. This is ridiculous. My culture's just being slapped around, and I can't do anything about it. Why? Why? Why is that happening? I'm a hundred percent culture boost there or strength there. Seventy-one percent there. Seventy-one percent there. Hundred percent there. Why is my culture getting pushed by theirs? This makes no sense to me. 
Is it? Oh, it's probably because of the stability in the city. I would guess that's what that's from. And if I refuse, the stability tanks to basically nothing and everyone, everything goes to crap. Aha. Uh -huh. What a bunch of doofus jerk faces. So we have to replace this no matter what. Because if we don't, we lose our city, basically. It'll go into an utter uproar. Uh, plus 20 stability is in cities that you occupy. That's not... Occupying a city is not the same as owning the city. 50% more money from ransacking and... Uh, poor combat strength bonus when ransacking. Okay. It's very expensive, though. I'm gonna leave both. It's way too expensive to get Dabble in right now. Over this way. Okay, I'd like to build another city, but where are we going to do so? Perhaps up here on the shore would be a good choice. If I can get two spots placed in here, that might be a suitable scenario. Off we go. Mr. Spearmans. At least have a positive income again. How's the friends down here doing? What's up, sus? Five percent trust? What? Uh, what? Hmm. Plus thirty-three science. Uh. Oh, where's their lifespan? That's a. That's a feature we need to see. Is there a lifespan listed here? Ah, their lifespan indicates the number of turns this independent people has left to reign. So, before they go away. Well, uh, definitely spend the money on the science collaboration. Because, holy crap, that makes us be super scientists. Wonderful. Over this way. Okay. A big old giant mountain range there. Go around, but I can't actually. I can't go around through the Assyrian lands. That's awkward. Nonsense, jerks. All right. You may now pick a culture for the next era. We have got our agrarian star. Well, oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Do we want to go ahead? So what happens is we lose the... Oh, wait. We would lose the ability to... Um, the buildings that we can make, the specialty buildings, those uh, canals, we won't be able to build them if we uh, go ahead to the next era. We can't build any more. We also cannot get any more of the stars... For this era. However, we would be able to get literally our full pickings of any of these factions. Druidic lore, food from farmers. My goodness, we could grow fast. Uh, Carthaginians. Um, Greeks. That's two science, uh, first researcher. Also the amphitheater with influence in science per era. Stacks up as you go. The Axumites. Our traders. We could transcend the Harappans, so we'd just get more fame, uh, for the things that we're doing. Um... Uh, okay, the Legion's Finest would give is, uh, let us have five people in every battle, or in every group. 50% experience gain. 
50 fame on a const on a victorious city when this is built and you've won a war. Mm. Plus five influence and five stability per adjacent district. Wow, that could be pretty potent. Praetorian guards are 29 strength. In comparison, our current spear dude is at 19 strength. 18 strength. 17 strength. That's a pretty potent unit. Uh, it counts as a common squatter, so stability booster. Okay. Ac the Achaemed Persians are only 28. And they require copper, whereas these guys, I think, require iron, yeah? Yeah, they do. We don't know if we've got... Uh, these are expansionists, plus two city cap. That's right, we have a city cap. I forgot about that. Which really hits things hard if you do it the wrong way. Plus ten stability on city or outpost. Hmm. That's a really good one. Influence, money, uh, influence per adjacent district, greater slots in the city and council's market quarters. Zamayans, industry per worker. Uh, industry per number of attached territories, plus two faith, or industry per adjacent mark, uh, maker's quarters. Mm -hmm. Adds as, it works as a maker's quarters and a religious district for proximities. This one is uh, research and religious. The stupa. The um, Marians? I don't know where those are. North Africa? Guiding Light. guys are builders. Turn money and science into production. I don't want to I don't want to push the button yet on this though. Militaristic Hans, combat strength of cavalry units plus 2. Science and empire per unit in a hostile territory. That's funny. Cannot evolve outposts into cities during this era. Really? Huh. It replaces a regular outpost. Cannot be attached to cities. Oh yes, the Hunnic Horde. Special unit gathers food in order to multiply. <laughs> can move uh, uh, Can move until all movement points are depleted, ignoring zone of control. Wow. Mm-hmm. The Goths. Nimble Pillage. 5% ransack bounty gained as science per unit. Uh, per units on army. Plus two influence on garrison. Tumulus. Faith. Influence. Acts as commons and religious. Gothic cavalry are iron and two horses. Jeepers. A swordsman of some sort. A famous naked fighting swordsman. Alright. Not sure if that's famous or in or insane, but you know, whatever. Um food for number of attached territories. We looked at that one. Carthaginians are the merchants. Greeks for science. I'm leaning towards possibly these guys. Acumen Persians. Oh, but the Huns is an interesting twist. Huh. You could really cascade some units. Hmm. Hmm. Possibly. Or some crazy Celts. Yeah, probably either the Romans, Achaemenid Persians, or the Huns. Hum, 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 Huns. Not sure, but it's available. Uh, on the other hand, also, the stars that we have, uh, we can look at these. So, expansion, if we add one more, if we build a city or add one more territory to our city, we get this bonus, which is 264 fame right now, uh, which is a huge, that's a 25% of the fame we've gotten so far. 
It's a big chunk of fame. Uh, getting to 36 population would add another 300. Uh, also, a massive chunk of fame. So, And we're, we're not far from these either. That one we're quite a ways away from. Building two more districts would allow us another chunk of fame for that. Three more techs would give us another 260. Uh, we're not far from a number of them. Not far. Um... Uh, give me one second here. Just have to get a business really to reply for a second. Um. <laughs> okay. All right, we were uh, moving along up here. Let's continue that. These fine folk are gonna head down and kind of kind of follow him, I guess, in that general direction. For uh, team security, you can come up here, and you are an archer. Can also come up here. Okay. Harappa is working on its archer. It'll be done almost finished next turn. We'll do the stars next time, not now. Now, I don't know if this is going to be... Uh, they're going to be aggressive here, or what's going to happen. So, we'll stand there for the end of the turn. See if we can render... Uh, what is that? Oh, we finished a religious stone ring center location. Interesting. Right. Okay, we made it through. So that's good. Kind of just did the, the dart and run. Uh, this has their spearmen. Okay. Now, if we have both of those units relatively close, when, for instance, this guy tries to come and ransack our place, mm-hmm, this would be definitely something we want to mess around with. So let's go for a run up here with this guy. And you can come back towards the town. Because once you get your friends to meet up... That's two turns. Let's bring this guy down to here. Apparently we can't. That's weird. I was able to before, but... Uh, okay. Uh, Harappa, please... Oh, you did finish that guy. Good. And uh, six turns now for that production. But that district is going to cause problems, because that's going to hit our stability even more. Um, is there things that we can do rapidly to boost our productivity? Like that's forested and forested and forested. Yeah, we could add some productivity, for instance, by getting this guy going. That would be better productivity, I would think. Uh, plus 15 stability if we put this on. That would be helpful as well. In fact, that first would boost our stability to a positive situation. And then we could start adding a bunch of these other things in. To add in food and stability and such. I think we'll put the walls up because this is going be, to be getting dicey real fast here. Let's go. Alright, they are starting to ransack that city. Gotcha. We may or may not get there in time. That's awkward. A melody for every occasion, too. Jingle jangle. Music is not some sacred art for the few. Everyone should be free to pursue their talents. I agree. Must have been a spin-off of another event. Alright, so we're, we're still cranking out the really good science right now. So let's do uh, writing. Oh, I guess it's not sequential like that. Hey, let's do writing. 
We only have three, four technologies left in the in the area in the era. It's fine. With that huge boost from our friends. Now, are you able to place a really hyper awesome location? Probably. Let's put it there for the uh, getting everybody involved. 15, 13, 14, 13. Um, I still want it there. Because they do, it does matter what's where you expand, right? This gives us access to the well. No, we'll go there. All right. More expanding. Now that is actually attached to that city now, this tile, which is kind of annoying. Um, not sure how this is gonna work. They're down here now. Let's go. Move a little closer. The next time you can kind of come up go. here. You come down here. This is awkward. What are you guys doing? I don't, I don't know if they just destroy it or what happens, but it's like literally part of our city. And I don't know how that, how, what effect that has. Like I can't get to him in time. So he finishes this turn. I have better strength by a good margin, but I can't reach him because I turned around the other direction. Didn't realize he'd be able to take it out in two turns. That's pretty hefty fast. Wait, what? Thought I had this one locked down, but apparently not. Okay, um, let's say you come over here then. Oh, hi! A ruined shrine for some more faith and, uh, bonus. There's nowhere good in this space to build a, a place, but that's okay. Uh, it is going to supposedly be a main, mainly a production facility, so pop that in there. I think they'll ransack it, and it'll lo we'll lose it from the town. I don't know how that works, though. I'm entirely uncertain. All right. Guess we could do the thing that the AI always you does and say, I want to see right say now. let's and let's uh, propose peace. Enough blood has been shed. Shall we be more reasonable? I will try to ignore my dislike for you. Uh, that means what? You want to give me a yes or no? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, so what did you say? <laughs> I presume that was her way of saying no. Uh, maybe. Yep, she just ripped that. He just ripped that off our place. Okay. Um. Well, I don't want you to have the high ground now, so that's you know very unpleasant choice. Hmm. Do it. I think. I can get around and initiate from there and here. Hmm. Oh no, I can swing all the way up here. This is advent advantageous, I think. Urgent affairs require our attention. Land of the dead. For hundreds of years, the dead of Harappa have been laid to rest the burial sites within and close to the city borders. Now, however, with fast-rising population and many dying every moon, these sites are becoming overcrowded. Further burials could lead to disease and corpse-waiting pro pro uh, processing. Cremation might be a wiser choice. What is your decree? Um, we lose stability for 10 turns. We gain industry for 10 turns. Um, quartermasters. We gain food. Land unit and naval unit cost, or fanatics. Bunch of faith boost for a bunch of turns. Industry for 10 turns. 10 industry for 10 turns, cost of eight stability. That's a 25% or 30% increase to our, eh. 
Or do we do the faith? Oh, the religious elites will be still very... Okay, that pushes... Either one of the ones I want to try would push us in the wrong direction. Um, well, this wouldn't actually... I don't hate that idea, honestly. Staying in the middle is probably not a bad idea for us. This would put it only one ta point up. Or one point down. So we don't actually change the... The alignment fully the axis doesn't change fully to a new category at this point so if I get food there's no negative to that this one would, would temporarily reduce stability adding some production this is a pretty hefty faith boost but it's a 50% faith boost uh, how much faith is this place producing is there a way to tell that probably Somewhere? Maybe? Maybe here? Ten followers. Hmm. Oh. Oh god. We make six faith from the main plaza. That's all we produce right now. So this event would give us 50 for ten turns. Oh, no, 50%, so that's only three more. Yeah, 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 okay. I thought that was giving me 50. That would be absurd. This has no downside because we've just built all our units. Not going to build any more right now. I can't afford it. And it would increase growth or production. I'm going to go with cremate. Because the idea is that we get more population to replace the ones we've just lost. Um, as well, uh, probably, um, that's actually okay with the extra money, isn't it? I'm okay with putting to the words the money. Their science is still doing quite good from our politicking. Okay. Hmm. Is that saffron? It is. And is that a lovely, severely defensible spot? It also is. Hmm. This might be a very hardy city location. Let's think about that down there. Um, okay. So, end of turn. Let's see if we can... An enormous leap forward. From mundane tallies of crops to recording the wisdom of sages. What is this? Humankind now wields the most powerful tool of all. Oh, writing research. <laughs> a little panic there for a second. I don't want a bunch of stuff going on in the background. That's why I was like, what? what is, what's going on? Interesting. All right, can you move here? Can you move? You can't move far enough. I go to war here, does this bring both of them in? Or not? Did I just, like, get him stuck? How does this work? And apparently that was, he was there, so he was able to block me from walking out here and around. That's unfortunate. Uh... Follow me! Oh, can I not regenerate this? How does that work? Uh, why can I not? Oh, because I don't have the influence to do it. I was just kind of going to run in right behind it and plop down another one, but I guess I can't. Hmm. Okay, up here. And then I want you, uh, you and you? Yeah, you guys come back down here then. Oh, there is another pathway down there. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not as perfect of a wall as I thought it was.
Bet you it's decent industrial production in the area, though. Could be. There's also a question mark spot there. Interesting. And this is an oasis? Yes. Hum, hum, hum. Off we go. You station there for a minute. Gotta figure out how to make this hit this happen here. This war is an affront to human decency. <laughs> Please, yeah. let's end this. No. There will be consequences to this, and I don't accept them lightly. I don't Your accept them at all. Your proposal is too much of a ball and chain on my ambitions. Uh, I don't how accept them intriguing. at all. No, no, no. Now you see what's going to happen here, huh? I see. Yeah! Oh, running away, are you? Running away, are you? Uh, let's see. I'm not sure how we have to be aligned here for this Open to work. This but I think yeah. we can attack again yeah! and force the battle. Yes, and we're both in. Haha. I see how it is. Now, you can't spawn in other spots. Oh my goodness, she's so stuck. She can only spawn in that tile, so one at a time. That's amusing. Uh, why don't you not be next to this guy? That would be silly. You can be here. And, um... They can't run down that way, so that's fine. And you can be back here as well. Actually, over here is fine. You can be up here. Wonderful. Now we get to see a real battle. There's only a horse unit here. That's amusing. Uh, so let's just shoot them. Now we have we have slightly reduced uh, effectiveness when fighting in weird angles and such, but they can only bring one to the front line at a time. That kills them all, I think. Where does units go? Wait, did we just destroy them all? Where'd the rest of them go? Um... Awesome. What happened to the rest of their units? Lunk? Didn't I say this is my territory? Back you right off. I think we killed them all. Do something clever today. Sign this oh, treaty. The Phoenicians would like share. There maps. will be consequences to this, and I don't accept them lightly. I do accept Though that it treaty. me deeply. For the greater good, I accede. This is unexpected. Excellent. <laughs> All right, then. Well, well. Another empire has certainly left a mark on the world with this cultural wonder. All right. Even if it's not yours, any human-built wonder is an impressive feat of design and construction. All right, so somebody Makes built a wonder. Makes me wish I'd done it. I think it was the Phoenicians, perhaps. We got a science uh, unlock, though. A star unlock. So now we have uh, all three of our science stars. Basically, we've got the whole field of science done for the area. We're one territory away from having all of... Wait. How do we get three of four? We don't have three of four right now. We have two right now. We only have two territories right now. Interesting. So, will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or a blessing? Their Ooh. future may not be in their hands. Venetians just set up a territory over there. Where is this wonder that was built? Who built the wonder and what is it? Let's see. Uh, Discovery. It is named for descending dragons, though I fear that one day it will be tourists that descend on the place. <laughs> nice. That's fine. Fishing research. Um, discovered a mountain. A cool mountain. We now know because we got info from our friends. Battle one, battle one. So I'm not sure why that doubled down, but okay. I am a little confused as to what wonder we have 
A uh, human wonder we have seen built. I see no such thing as a wonder, but... Unless they're counting this. And it might be. I don't know. Pop in here and get a bit of coinage. You can run back up and around there. Um, now. Battle-wise. I'm not sure how a siege would work. But I am sure that I want to go crush her territory and, and mess around with her because, you know, you started this one. Uh, sailing and then masonry. Cool. Close to war victory. Her war support is down to 18. Oh, look. A new target. Ah, uh, lovely. Okay. Um, I have half an idea here. Oh, hey, whoa, what the? Hmm. That's not, that's not going to work for half of my idea. All right, well, um, not at all. Um, the idea is if I can get in a position where this guy has to, where we have a group up here that's, oh, we can, we can mix and match them on the field, so that's fine. I was gonna say, like, swap the troops around so the archers are up here, but we can, we can deliver them wherever we need to, whenever we need to. Oh, yes. Am I able to go in the waters? If I am, I want that island. I don't know if I can yet. All right, pink person. Get out of my way, yo. Yeah, you're gonna start ransacking it, huh? With your little buddy helping you out, huh? I see how it is. Over this way. You know you're not living to tell about this one. Oh, hi. Or maybe you are? Running away again, huh? Oh, that's why the double, the double uh, achievement for winning a battle. Greetings. Her war score is trash is now. Always open to talk. She's really not happy with this. While your opponents still have some war support left, you'll not be able to force the surrender unconditionally. Take advantage of the situation of enforcing peace uh, entirely on your terms. I'm not sure how this plays out. I don't, I'm, I don't think it's like a give me all your lands sort of a scenario, but... Alright, let's see where we can... Sailing research, thank you. There you are. Now, I think they can run this turn. Nope. All right. Okay, so they've got they got two uh, horse you or yeah horse units here. They will be able to move around the outside. I'll leave my horses up on this flank. They'll be able to come around this side as well, but they'll be on a river if they do. I'll move that one up back here. Archers up on the hills. And another archer unit actually over here. And you can come back this way. To move around. Alright. There you go. This time he's got his units out there. So it's not going to be an instant win. But we are going to rip apart whom. I wonder if maybe I should hit... Oh, what is this? Unit's position can only be swapped during... Oh. No line of sight. So we lose a bit of firepower for no line of sight. So damage is 22 to 33. Crossing a river. Oh. Shoot him up. Uh, spears could actually do incredibly effectively here. Jab, jab, pokey, poke. 
Save the range units for softening these guys up. I don't know if I can get around here. Off we go. Go that way. You come down this way. Ouch, minus 35. Yikes. Oh, don't want the horses over there anymore. I just realized after I went there that obviously that unit I can't access. So that's not great. But I can't come down there either. Why, why are you so stuck? Is that actually... Oh, that is full cliff. Okay. Well, that was pointless layout, but okay. Uh, I'm going to say we fire on the fine fellow back here first. Do your hoo-ha later, buddy. You lose. Minus 19 or minus 19. Excellent. Shoot the guy in the back. Well, sort of shoot him in the back, but you know what I mean. And I will stand on the defensive for the rest of those guys. Uh, in there. Took some hits. Alright, he's gonna go def defend his hole. I mean home. And there it is. Another one of his units down, and a military star. Nice. See, the doubling up with that tech is huge. That was worth getting. That was very worth getting. And with the spearman and the horse, we get a bit of mobility, but also the ability to kind of bottleneck the area. That's pretty powerful. Excellent wins. Okay. Now you scared? Hmm? 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 <laughs> Flawless victory. Thank you. Thank you. It worked well. I was happy with that one. Now, I'm wondering if, um... What was this guy? Oh, yeah, this guy was going to try to get across the waters. I don't know if that's the thing we can do. I don't remember if there's a tech related to that, or if I can just start hopping waters, or what. I'm going to say, uh, this can wait. Oh, our production is down, isn't it? Hmm. Well, this will dramatically increase it, so... Allows units to embark without any movement point cost. Okay, so I should be able to embark anyways without it. So that's okay. This is actually a great spot down here if we make a harbor down here. Or, you know, something like in here. And we can wrap it around with uh, other harbory stuff. Got silk there and salt there. Yeah, we've got some potentials here. Get 110 influence to place the next zone. And I think I'm going to bring this one. Connect this one to it. 60 influence for that. Uh, the stability of the city is going to drop from that. Right now our stability is sitting at 100. With a fairly substantial surplus. We'll lose 20 of that. But we'll get a whole bunch more production. So right now our production is 33 and 11 food. Whoa, wait. Minus 7 food. Why, what, where, and why? How? Why did we just drop so badly? What? Um, that seems outrageous. Why did I get seven lost food? Obviously, got to switch up and do something else. Uh, like the flood irrigation. Uh, that has to be our only build there. Hmm. 
709 bucks. Yikes, yeah. Is this ready to buy out? No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll get that flood irrigation, but we got food problems for sure here. Really don't know how that's going to affect us immediately, but man, these guys are expensive to manage. manage. They take food out of the city, don't they? I think so. Yeah, they're supplied. Oh, plus 20% regeneration. Plus 20 health regeneration. So they are going to regenerate health really quickly in, in home waters here. Now, oh my. Oh, I did not know they were at war. The Assyrians just took their capital. Whoa. That was a big move. Jeepers, am I going to start at 20 after 11? Oh boy. I, don't, I can't uh, stick around too late tonight, so. Researchers are idle. Oh, I'll do a bit of masonry, will you? And then I think what we're going to do, come down here and see if our friend will... Uh, Swap things out. We have a trust. We have trust issues. Um. Oh, it's a ton of influence to change it, huh? A lot to change it up. Okay. Oh, somebody else has been influencing them. Whoa! What? Holy crap! He's just buying them out. Look at that. He's put 101 in in the time that we put 35. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's all yours. No way I'm keeping that. The Assyrians are just crushing face. I will try to keep this civil, but that may be impossible. Despite your good intentions, to accept so little would tarnish my glorious name. Maybe my ultimatum was hasty. My demands are withdrawn. I commend your decisions. So they have a hundred war support. They could start out straight up and have a real good reason and support from the people to war us. They have two cities and a third one occupied? I I think? I'm not sure how that works like that, but it's hatched and it's circled by orange, so... Hmm... Well, I'm going to go after her territory then. Masonry research. That's the last of the research. An ongoing war can be ended. The war against the queen of... Uh, oh, she's now the Huns. Has been reached... Has reached a point where there's... Where surrender may be forced on them. Delaying a return to peace will cause increasingly severe war wariness, stability penalties on our cities. Damn it. You are the last person I want to see right now. Uh, I can't take anything from them except for war reparations, as far as I understand. Like, yeah, there's nothing I can do except for demand money. Uh-huh. What? How long would it take to take out her city? Is that something I can do? Yeah. I'll give it a turn or two. Oh, we don't have the, tresp the technology. Do not possess the technology to allow it embarking. Okay. That's too bad. We also don't have the culture power to buy a new territory here. All right. Oh, she just switched now to being the Huns. This way. So this is an administrative center. Can I do the same thing that she did and try to sack the territory? Hey, it's converted to her polytheism. Darn it. My religion isn't even keeping up anymore. 
Ah! Uh, <laughs> this is rough. What it could be doing also is building those. Where are they? The special district. Or is it over here? Did I click on this thing or something? No. Ah, there it is. Uh, artisan's quarters. Okay. So for 46 influence, I could be getting this. Stability in all cities and food from main plaza and administrative centers. Uh, or this one, which is gold per trader. Um, per pearls. Or stability. Okay. And how about over here? Do I have anything else in the other provinces? I don't think so, actually. If that's a straight up nose. Saffron is two food for farmers. And boosts stability. We could do this for influence. There we go. We have sage now. So we got more food as well. Actually, I don't know that that affects us until it's inside the territory. Um, we do get the stability bonus, right? Luxuries. Stability. Good. $394 and, well, so one turn and then we'll be able to buy out this flood irrigation. That'll help the food. Wait, why is it 14 food? Oh, because this is the food for this particular tile. Right? Is that what's going on here? Uh, no. What is this for? Exploitation, outposts, and narrative events. Yeah, that is this tile. So just this place. Okay, so the, the food isn't providing anything? So this doesn't provide until it's actually in a city? Is that how that works? Hmm. So we're, unless we're getting food from luxuries here somewhere. No. It doesn't say luxuries here. So exploitation is the tiles on the ground. This makes seven. That's the exploitation number there. And then the districts is... The actual, um, in this case, the canal district or the farming district that produces that. And then narrative events, uh, and then quartermaster. Quartermaster. Oh, that was an event as well. A status. And then 36 from the actual six farmers here. Okay. Well... Not ideal. 15 of 18 population. I need to expand some things in order to get more potential population. And I think what we're going to have to do is... Well, this one's got a lot of growth, right? Decent growth and decent industrial. We could make this into a city at 160... Uh, if we got 160 influence stacked up, we could make that happen there. That guy finishes move. See if we can do some brand set. What the heck? Don't run off, dude. Let's go. Thank you? Uh, go ahead and ransack this, please. also ransack that one. I don't know how we'll do with four, though. And she probably doesn't have the manpower to fight back at this point. You! So... What do you want? I just to destroy you, that's all. Um, you started it, okay, lady? Crazy one. I'm looking for a war weariness. Minus 15 from war weariness already. Oh, boy. So we're gonna have to knock out, like, this 
which is where I wanted to build my city, and possibly over here. Knock her back on her heels even further. And then I think we'll uh, have to peace out at that point, or we'll kind of collapse. The city will get into too much of an uproar with all the hippies getting angry. Three turns. Four turns. Can we survive four turns back home without uh, absolute catastrophe hitting? It's going up by five a turn. Oh, good lord. To harness the power of water itself in order to feed your people. That should make you popular. I hope so. I really needed to, because, you know, right now I'm not very popular. Not very popular at all. Um, these make stability, but only five. Any other district is not going to produce stability. It will produce production. That's fortification. Ah, the, the, the this thing. Nine population if I rush it. <laughs> Holy crap. I could use up nine of our 15 population to finish it immediately. Well, it'll finish in five turns. Maybe drop the number of population that takes. And somewhere in the middle do it? I'm not sure. Deepers. We can only bring in one more population from the Harappans. With our super boost. Yeah, because we have nothing that else that gets popular... Um, stability bonuses. You get more of those later on, but... Ongoing war can be ended. Yeah, I know. I know it can. I'm trying to hold off a little longer, friend. Don't interrupt my thing, okay? Where's the stability? 54. If we're going down 5 a turn, we get... 4 more turns before... Yeah, in 4 turns they... will collapse into... Uh, <laughs> after 4 turns, the place will collapse into disorder. Basically. 4 turns, however, the obelisk finishes, so... Just in time. Two turns will take a ton of money. 757 bucks. Wow. I don't mind if I do. What's the people like on there? Population war support. Not sure how that works, but sure. So this place is like losing and gaining population. It's starving itself out and then it gains population again. And their religion is crushing everything. Yeah. That's all... Oh, Zoroastrianism? What? Uh, what happened? What? What? Okay, apparently there's a new religion. Um, that's not their. Oh, they renamed the religion or something. It, it reformed somewhere from a polytheism into something else. Okay. Keepers of the Creed. An unexpected rivalry has erupted between two temples. Uh huh. We believe men are more qualified in religious matters. Only men lead in the ceremonies. That's traditional. Boost by one. Uh, we believe that women will make better religious leaders. They'll conduct the ceremony. That's the same thing. Any. Wait. Both of them lead to more traditionalism. Okay. So how do. How does deciding one way or the other lead to more traditionalism? Like, which one was the, was it originally, if it's a decision either way? Maybe maybe I read that wrong, but... Um, we can all lead the religion as neither men or women are privileged over the other by the gods and nature. Current effect plus 10 stability. Oh, it's there and it goes... Ah, we'll go up one and gain... We'll lose stability by five. Oh, no! Uh, oh, we're heading the direction we want, but that might be bad, bad news for this. The tipping points. Builder Star is finished. 
So only the Huns have been taken so far. Well, that's okay. Probably not going to last long, but you see how it spreads out very dramatically as the number of stars starts changing. Well, everybody's got the seven, so they could all we could all uh, pull the trigger any time. Uh, one turn finished to pillage that, which then I can set up a city somewhere up here. I think I want it up here. And have awesomeness come out of that. Well, I actually found a city there. That's the plan, anyways. Alright, now, if we set up a city somewhere up here, where would we get? 1613 is pretty good. Sixteen eleven with a better defensive structure is all probably better. Arguably a better location. And if this is all heavy production through the forest, this is all food. Hmm. Um Okay. Twenty-four, nine, twenty-five, and seven, or fifteen and ten. No, I like the over by the river here. We're gonna go with the twenty-four, nine. Set that up. Sixty-seven bucks for it, which means uh, two turns to finish the obelisk. Okay, then we can maybe start buying out some other stuff. We need the stability. That'll fix itself by 35, 40 points. Okay, after we ransack this last piece, we'll probably end the war right there. That'll disconnect them from their silk, too. I still have their horses. Only have a four population there, really? A 30 defensive, though. I don't know if I can get into that. I really don't think I can, but I don't even need it yet. It's not going to be helpful. Cultural conversion started. Talitha. Entered into the influence of the Assyrians? What? My goodness, that's starting to convert to them. In five turns, the province I just conquered becomes Assyrian for just because. Oh my god. That's terrible. Uh, we'll be able to convert it before... Uh, produ oh, we won't. Yeah, I just spent a lot of culture points. Um, okay. Do that. Ransacked successful. Now let's see about ending this you. war. What do you want? Uh, she'll have to pay seven, 675 reparations. What is this? Uh, oh yeah, uses up all 100... That's the war score. So I have 135 war score. Using up all 135 war score, and she has to pay uh, 675 bucks. Except... My people adore you! <laughs> it is with a heavy heart that I offer my empire's <laughs> surrender. That was harsh. My people adore you! <laughs> Uh, and she would like a uh, non-aggression treaty. I'm going to go Your up and straight up Your proposal is too much of fruits. a ball and chain on my ambitions. <laughs> I thought you more rational. Nope. Not rational at all. A straight up conqueror. Sorry. What is this? Administrative center. Of what? The Phoenicians have come from here and moved all the way over here. That's an interesting play, but they are Phoenicians, so maybe coastal expeditions and that sort of stuff is their normal. Hello, friend. Are you entirely influenced by someone else as well? I don't know, but I can't afford to spend any influence. We have 93 influence right now. That was a lot of money. We have 1,800 bucks. Well, that worked. Uh, stability is on its way back up to 88. 
which is awesome. Let's go ahead and put that up here and buy it out. And then it goes back to producing that in one turn, actually. Massive food uh, changes here. And uh, we're going to add that on as well. Um, we have the researchers coming in. Adds more research slots, which is nice. In fact, I think a few of these buildings do that, eh? Um, no, that doesn't. Uh, this one adds a farmer slot, the granary, okay. Fisheries just adds food to harbors. Money for harbors. And that's money for quarters. Uh, plus one industry for stone, fields, rocky, fields, and mountains. I think we'll put the researcher in there as well. And uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the, the walls up top. In fact, I'm going to use up a bunch of the money I just made for that war on getting walls at the city. See there, now we are properly defended, and the the walls expand as the as the regions uh, grow. So if you if you add another district, they'll encompass the new the new district will encompass that as well. Two idle armies, yes indeed. And still, friends, you can actually come over here a little closer, so you're potentially involved if there's any conflict. Nice and side by side. Not that there will be any conflict, because I think none of that's going to be a thing. Now, once we build this into a city, 160 to do so. How many turns until we lose it? Wait, what? Now, now it's not our culture? I'm so confused. So is it converting over or not converting over? That just changed big time. Maybe that wasn't what I anticipated there. Okay, so uh, as far as stars goes, how are we doing? Not there. Here. So we completed the Agrarian Gold Star. We completed the Science Gold Star. One more territory, which we'll get very shortly, like in two turns, we'll complete this one. And we're about to get the influence star as well we're pretty darn close to the merchant gold one 100 well 150 bucks that's not how much we don't get that money that's money just earned from like uh regular earnings of monies apparently we didn't get much for the military star i thought we took care of more than six people oh you know what the four that we killed Oh, okay, so the four that were stacked there that we killed originally, they died, but they we didn't lose... Uh, we didn't get the kills. It didn't count as actually having kills, it just counted as uh, um, them losing the units. Interesting. Yeah, we gotta wait on that one, we gotta wait on that one, for sure. They were like one days away. Let's do that. Uh, successful ransacked district belonging to... Uh, that'll be two more turns. Two more turns, huh? Since this district has been ransacked, I mean, I mean, I can do something with that still? I don't know. It's a nice spot for it, though. Step onto that river. Okay. I would like to go there, but I can I can't use any influence yet. Arapa is done the pier oh it is good. So there's the plus twenty stability. It's on its way back to a hundred. Plus the twenty faith boost. Good. Uh, so we need another one of those beautiful buildings. 
over here somewhere. Let's see. These are plains areas. The food area will not really, it's not really what that's for. What if we go up this way? Wait, we can only have one per city? I'm so confused. I thought this was one per territory. Maybe it's only one ever anywhere? Obelisk of the Gods. Apparently, can't make more of those. Or anything like them. Hmm. It's not what I remembered having, but okay. Well, uh, in that case, we need these this this re this um specialty district done right away. Six turns, nine hundred bucks to rush, but no, thank you. Uh, this thing is finished. It needs one hundred and sixty. We'll end another turn. We'll keep an eye on things. One hundred and fifty-one influence. Uh, Marfik. Marfik is joining somebody else in, like, no, some turns. Oh, that's awkward. This one's not, but that one is? You're not making sense, game. You're not making sense. Or the in oh, the influence is shifting, but that doesn't give them control of the territory. I'm so confused. I must not be understanding what's going on there. So 151, we just need one more turn. Keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out. Unlock this star for the uh, the influence. And then we will turn this into a city, gaining the expansion star. Rappen polytheism is expanding again. Good. I'm waiting for the jealous types to say things like, it's just a big pile of rocks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Built to last. Has been locked by another empire. All right. So this place is, that's our... That's this place, right? Yeah, this one. No. It's a different one. That is here. So this is now polytheism. Okay. So it's pushed forward a little bit. That's good. And then over here, this place can build another one or no? No. I thought we could build religious like facilities in different places. Clearly, I'm wrong. Oh, clear ruins. Oh. So this is... Hmm. You start the exploitation, but there's actually nothing to exploit there. So, okay. Fine. 73 stability. So, I think we'll go with uh, getting our... Specialty district down first. Uh, actually, what I could do is, if I'm smart, I'll put a farm district down here first. And then I would put the, the boosted district down there. Finish that farmer's quarters. Bump this one down here. For a massive food supply. Huge. It's huge. It's totally huge. Uh, I want the pottery. We can even buy that influence up right away. Good. I think that's a great use of the time. Now, this does boost on rivers, this place, which would be a huge food increase again. However... Um... We will have forestry, but we're not currently using it here.
Hmm. We'll have to do a bit of expansion to get access to that. I'm wondering which ones to connect here with where with what here. I think this province here should be connected in. And this one. Because they've got some nice uh, bonus resources here. Costs very little to connect the first ones. Although if I go over here, this one has... Yeah, that's, that's mostly food. This one could access the silk, which would increase industry. And whatever that question mark is. And then there's mercury over here. Stability and science. Okay. Let's set up here. 97 influence to connect that, or to establish that. Okay. Guy has the forestry. Is this forested rivers? This is woodland rivers. So if we go in here and we put the woodland one on, 23 turns. Yeah, the productivity is trash here, but that's okay. Uh, and we'll shuffle this over to here. So now 14 turns. Okay, 600 bucks. Uh, and then if we attach this guy for the 30 next turn, that should give us kind of... Um... Hmm. I want I want these established, but maybe not right away. We'll put you there, and we'll bring you back over towards this area. Okay, a couple more turns here. Uh, this, this place up here just converted to Zoroastrianism. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Struggle for Dominion. Capital is the Empire's true seat of power. But now other cities with enigmatic populaces rise to prominence. Leaders and others, influential figures, want sway over the Empire's affairs. And the question of who wields power must be answered. Leadership. Okay. Plus one city cap, or plus 25 stability on the capital. Well, this depends, I suppose, on what I do for the city, um, the faction. It's army, wage, army, oh. Stability on garrison. Yeah, garrisons would give stability if I do that, so I can actually swap garrisons around to manage stability. I like how it shows this. It shows who's, who's dealing in what side, right? So if I want to do the politically correct thing, I would, you know, choose whatever alignment the other guys are doing. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so how did you end up? Uh, how did things turn out for you? Pretty broken down there. Hmm. Are you able? We're we're fully Your trading, right? Is an enigma. That's right, we are. So uh, we can buy resources from them. For instance, if we were to buy porcelain, buying this resource from the Huns, okay, so I can't buy that. You're buying that, you're, oh, you're not buying those. Okay, so you, it would cost me 219 bucks to get marble, and then marble would be plus four stability and industry per worker per marble. We only have one, but... Uh, gemstones. Again, stability, bu buying stability, and we have some. Marble, do we not? Or pearls, I mean? Yeah, I think we have pearls. Yeah. Must have access to at least half of them. Um, 
and research humanism technology to unlock the resource effects of wondrous effects. Hmm. Money in all cities by 5%. Wondrous effect plus 5% money per... Per gemstone. Jeepers. Even better than the pearls. 5% industry per marble. So yeah, if you hold enough of the world's access to enough of them, depending on how many are in the world, you get that bonus. That's cool. Uh, we could buy another horse, which would allow us to yield um, more high-tech horse units. Then the decision has to be which group we go with. Um, we could do the uh, Aksumites. We could do the Greeks for their science and influence. Carthaginians, Celts, the Goths, the Murian, the Achaemenid Ach Achaemenid Persians, and the Romans. Hmm. I'm uncertain which direction to go. I think the Ackerman and Persians is going to be the best long term because of the city cap bonus. And city stability on cities and outposts. Yeah. I think we'll go with these guys. But we're going to weigh in on that because I'm going to have to get myself to bed. It's already midnight. We've gone four hours of this fun. And uh, I appreciate you all being here and hanging out with me for this. It's fun to play this one again. I've done it for a long time. So yeah, a little little uh, shaky there at the beginning. We managed to pull a bit uh, um, back together over here. We're ready to go to the next era. We've done pretty darn good on our star generation recently. Um, the builders are still three districts away. This, we're not going to be doing any that anytime soon. Well, we're 20 coin away. We'll make, we'll make one more turn pass and we'll get this Merchant Star. For sure we'll do that. End that one last turn then. So I don't forget next time. Culture Chosen. The Mayans. Unlock the star. Can I still unlock to get the versions? I can. And the Romans. We'll have to look at that next time. Yeah, so we got this uh, star here for another 140 fame. That's a pretty hefty jump. That puts us all the way up to fourth. <laughs> Ouch. Um, so the down, the downside of moving up sooner is um, is that you don't you know you don't get access to the potentially easy stars that you've almost done, and the higher Star thir three is worth more than star two and star one, so of a of a group. So fourteen out of twenty one stars is pretty solid. Um, but these guys have a substantial advantage now, stars wise. I don't think they've even no, they haven't even gone to the next era. We have to choose before they go to the next era. We don't get to them being like that next to us. Unless watch, they'll be the Romans next. Ugh. They're now hate filled. The Huns are now hate-filled. I wonder why. <laughs> that worked well. Way better than I expected it would. It's lovely. So yeah, we'll have to consolidate some lands here. If we go the uh, the Persians, then we're definitely going to bring be able to bring in more uh, cities and add more spots to those cities. So we'll go with a very aggressive expansionism next time. We're at 464 BC, so... A long time ago, I can still remember. I can't remember anything about that. That's way too long ago. Yeah, going well, progressing forward. Anyways, I have to figure out how to push the faith a little better and and whatnot in the future. But making some positive uh, advancements. We can also start doing technology again if we go past here, which we've lost all this technology. Right? We're making a hundred and fifty-one point eight per science per turn. And we're not making any of it because we are not crossed this imaginary barrier yet to open up new stuff. So we'll have to do that in the future as well. So thanks, everybody, so much for joining me. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. 
Uh, do check out ooh, a purple person do check out more content uh there's more content on the uh channel as well um not sure what our next uh we're just about wrapping up the uh knights of honor series it's coming to an end the uh dwarf fortress is still ongoing for a long time i'll be going getting some more medieval dynasty up finally soon which is awesome have a good night james have a good night madeline uh, yeah, so the Knights of Honor 2 was our grand strategy game uh, running on the channel. I, I don't think I'll do this game in a series format. Not right now. Maybe later. Maybe we'll do a stream or two of it. But um, got to think of a new uh, grand strategy to fill the fill that uh, slot. Um, and uh, Medieval Dynasty is going to return as well. I think this month um, there's another one of the Dynasty games that comes out. I don't remember which one. I don't know. There's there's at least two more. There's Sengoku Dynasty and one other that are coming out. And they've got a similar kind of a concept. So, Anyways, have a great night, guys. Uh, do hit the like button if you don't mind before you head out. If you haven't already, I appreciate it. We'll see you in game. <laughs>